How's it going, everybody? All right. Welcome back from Coachla. Yeah, we're back. I'm pretty tired, though, guys. And also, my throat is kind of... I don't know if I'm going to stream super long today. Just because... Uh, what's it called? Oops, let me... Not gonna lie, guys, my throat kind of hurts because, okay, I'm I'm just gonna say it. I okay, maybe I shouldn't start off like this, but I doubt I'm going to go back to Coachella next year. Um, smoking? No, I don't. I don't really like smoking anything, guys. I know. Uh, well, I don't want to expose anyone, but some of my friends do. I don't like to though. I, it's not good. It's the same reason I don't like drinking. Drinking just tastes bad. But anyway, um. I probably wouldn't go back next year. There's just so much sand, guys. I, I probably shouldn't start off with this because I am glad I went, but I, eh, there's just so much sand and dust. It's kind of bad. Um, so instead of doing that, let's let's try and start off with the good things first, maybe. You know? Um, so we'll, we'll try and start off with the good things first. But uh, for sure, like, my throat still kind of hurts just from, uh, what's it called? Like, if I cough at all, it's not because I have, uh, I didn't catch anything. I just breathed in so much dust that I actually, my throat hurt. I can still kind of feel a little bit. Singing? No, it's just, guys, guys, Coachla is a literal dust storm. I don't know if you guys heard, but, like, I feel like if Pokemon were real, that's where you'd find Tyranitar, because, uh, there was a literal sandstorm the entire time, permanent. So, it, it was pretty bad. It's in a desert. It's not the desert. It's the wind, guys. Like, um... So, I've, I've been to EDC before, right? It was not even close to that bad. It was like an actual storm. And there was a lot of walking. And for some reason, they don't have roads. It's all dirt paths. Like, it's... I, I think my biggest complaint, and the reason I probably would never go back... Um, and, and this is... Keep it in mind that I do think I'm glad I went once, you know? Um, I'd probably never go back. Because that, that was like, guys, guys, they should call me like a Hashira from Demon Slayer. Because I'm pretty sure I perfected sand breathing. Because that's all I did the entire time at Coach Lut. It, literally, that's what it was, guys. So, um, pretty much the biggest problem was it was just a lot of sand. And, and uh, you would breathe it in. Um, and I brought a mask and everything. But it only did so much. Like, my throat still kind of hurts right now from uh, breathing in so much sand. So, uh, yeah, I think I, I probably wouldn't go back. That's also why I left early. Because um, my throat literally still kind of hurts right now from breathing in so much sand. So if I cough, it's not because I caught anything. It's because, well, other than, I guess I caught a lot of sand. Uh, but, yeah, it was uh, actual just dust storms the whole time. It was pretty bad. Um, I am glad I went once, but that's the main reason I didn't want to go again. Because um, I was just physically in pain from it. So it was not good. Um, but anyway, uh, let, let's start off with the good things, even though we already started off with probably my biggest complaint for it. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get back on that later, I'm sure. Uh, but basically, the good things were, it was pretty cool going. I got to see my friends. That was great. Everyone was wearing fancy outfits. And I'm going to be honest, guys, I wasn't even sure if I was going to go. I mean, I had my merch launch on Friday. Um... So I, I didn't go to Friday because I was like, I want to be around for my merch drop. And I was around for that. Thanks so much for buying the merch, guys. We made a lot of sales. I think we broke even already. Um, there's, there's been over a thousand uh, orders already. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Um, I think we've broken even. Um, so that's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to make a lot of money. But like Ray said, you know, merch is not about making tons of money. It's just about having cool merch that hopefully people who like it will get it. So, uh, I think we did a little more than breaking even, so that's good. Uh, I'm not going to make a ton of money, but, you know, it's not about that. I'm just glad we have uh, some merch we can wear, so that's cool. Um, all right, Slim, thanks for the sub, and Maddie. But anyway, um, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to go, guys. Um, so, I kind of last minute decided to go. And here's the thing. Let me, you know, I'm just going to pull it up real quick, but... I kind of last minute decided to go, and Leslie was like, yeah, we, we like saved a spot for you at our thing. And I was like, oh, that's great. I show up, and turns out there's no spots. So, but hold on, let me, um, let me look for it. But basically, I ended up sleeping in the closet. Um, 
I'm, I'm gonna pull up a picture, but let me, uh, how do you even find it? I, I'll find it eventually. I just, just need a minute. Yeah, um, you know, I'm just gonna right-click open the picture to be a, a little bit safer, just in case, because I've seen people get in trouble for, like, um, what's it called? If they just open up, like, Twitter, that's not a good idea. Um, all right, give me one sec, though. Not really good at pulling this kind of thing up. Um, where is the thing? Oh, God. Also, guys, I, I said it already, but if I'm coughing, it's because I've been literally breathing dust nonstop. Guys, this is, this was where I slept for the whole weekend. This was, this was my home. I set it up myself. Um, so basically what, what we did here was, um, there was no couch. Well, you see, Myth took the couch and I took the cushions from the couch. So I, I took like three cushions from the couch I found those pillows I don't even know where. I was actually, guys, I was just walking around the house looking for things that people wouldn't really like notice were gone, except for the couch cushions. Those are pretty noticeable. But I was like walking around the house like this, and I'm like, oh, yes, no one will notice this, this pillow being gone. And I, I just grab the pillow. I throw it in my closet. And then the blanket, uh, Butta and Abby, they brought an extra. Let me borrow it. Uh, so the, the blanket was given to me, but I literally walked around the house going like, uh, yes, this pillow. I'll take this pillow here. There's no plugs in the closet, so I have a... Uh, you can see my little phone charger in the bottom right. There's no plugs in the closet. So I got my phone charger to try and char charge my phone at night. Um, and then, like, I'm not even joking, guys. They're so weird because... So I would just go down there and lay down, and I could just use my foot to push the door closed. So it's kind of nice. You know, it's a little cozy. Not gonna lie. It's, it's comfortable. Uh, well... Okay, it wasn't like comfortable, but it, it was cozy is a nice way to say it. But I would just lay down, push that sliding door closed with my foot, and I would just try and sleep in there. Um, and Mr. Lang and, and Abby were on the bed outside. Sometimes I wonder if they forgot that they had a little goblin sleeping in the closet, but that was the only spot I had, guys. Couch was taken, all the rooms were taken, like there was no space left. And I literally gathered like... um. I just gathered pillows from around the house because when we had gotten there, we got there Friday night and everyone was at Coachella. So I was just like, all right, guys, this is my chance. I'm going to go around and look for pillows that no one's used yet or, you know, stuff like that. And I just gathered them up, set it up in the little closet, and there I was. It's pretty comfortable, though. Pretty comfortable. Um, why not just get a hotel? They were all sold out and they were super expensive. And I, I'm not that picky, guys. I mean, this was fine. Um... So I just gathered stuff up, and here's the thing, um, Myth came back, and I think he was sleeping on the couch, and obviously I took like three couch cushions there, and he was just like, wait a minute, the, the couch cushions are gone, and I was like, well, what am I supposed to do, man, we gotta, we gotta split this up somehow, so like the couch was taken, I took some couch cushions, Myth found some pillows, I think he posted, a, hold on, let me, let me look for it, um, I think Myth posted a picture of him with some red pillows, and I don't know where he got those from, but, um, l let me look for it. But basically, there was a chain of random gathering, pretty much. Yeah, this was, this was the picture Myth posted right here. He found, like, a red and a gray pillow. Don't know where he got that from, but we just started a chain of, of pillow gathering around the house. We kind of just went around like little migrants grabbing random, uh, random pillows from places that we would hope no one would notice. So, uh, yeah, we were kind of, we were kind of living the life out there, but I did like my, uh, my little closet room. It's kind of cozy, kind of miss it. And if you, if you really zoom in guys, hold on, where, where, where is it? There's a little crack, uh, for, for legal reasons, this is all a joke. Cause, but I, I think I hit my head on the, on the back when I was trying to wake up once. And like, I think it just, just for that, that never actually happened. Cause I don't want Leslie to get in trouble. Um, so if, if the owner sees this, this is all a prank that, that was photoshopped in. But there's like a little a little crack in there, if you guys can see it. Because like sleeping, trust me, it, it was not great, guys. And then, so here's actually what happened. I would slide, and since the pillows, or the, the couch cushions weren't connected, I would, it would slide. So it would slide, and then I would fall backwards, and, and it's, yeah, it's just kind of bad. But anyway, um, 
It could have been worse. It's a cozy looking place, but there is a random crack there. Don't know how that got there. Um, but yeah, pretty much I just, uh, yeah, I slept in the closet. Uh, I only, I left yesterday, so I, I came home yesterday because it was kind of a, it was kind of a hassle, honestly, just the dust. Guys, the dust was absolutely terrible. It, it was, I would not go back next year unless I check the weather and there's no, uh, there's no crazy dust or sand or whatever. I don't know. How's your back? Not as bad as my throat. Like, guys, I'm probably going to be coughing this stream because, um, it's just, it's just, uh, I, I breathed in so much dust. Like, it's, it's pretty bad. Um... Good luck with that. Yeah, yeah. My throat still hurts, guys. I don't know if I sound any different, but I, I can feel it. Like, uh, <clears throat> it was just really, really dusty and I couldn't breathe it in. Did you wear a mask? I wore a mask the whole time and some people didn't. But guys, look at... So this is the mask I wore. I'm not going to show you the front, but if you look... There's a lot of, like, dirt on it. And that's, that's just from breathing the dust in. And this is from the mask. Uh, people who didn't wear a mask, this is probably in their lungs right now. Shark, what? Can you see the front? No, I'm only showing the back, guys. But, but I was wearing this mask the whole time, and there's dust all over it. It's pretty bad. But anyway, um, I think people who didn't wear a mask, like for sure, they're going to have some lung problems or something. Because uh, it, it was just not it, it was just not an enjoyable experience, you know? Uh, just because of the dust. And here's the thing. I thought it was like some bad luck. I was like... Hey guys, I bet we came in like the wrong day and there's a bunch of dust, right? I googled it and apparently it's a, a common thing. Just because of the location, there's a lot of wind and a lot of dust. And um, apparently that's just, it's just normal there. So I, I think I genuinely don't think I'd go back next year just because uh, I don't want to breathe in the dust. There's dust in my eyeballs. Like it, it was it literally dust everywhere, guys. Every, it was kind of bad. Like I showed up with white shoes. And then they, I came out with brown shoes, so, um, you know, it, it was not very, not very uh, nice. Breathing in sand sounds painful. It definitely was. That's actually the main reason I didn't want to go back, um, just because of how uncomfortable that was. Um, I made a bunch of jokes about it, guys. I was like, my accuracy must be zero because they were spamming sand attack on me, like in Pokemon or something. Like, I'm the sand Hashira because I've been breathing in so much dust, like I'm the actual breath of dust or something user like you can make a lot of jokes about it but it was actually uncomfortable guys it was, it was kind of uncomfortable i don't think i would go back just because of that um what i will say is i liked a lot of the music well okay there's two people i liked a lot um one was this dude i thought okay i heard the chat or not the chat what did i call it chat uh probably because i stream but i heard the crowds chanting twitch prime so we were like walking around right and I was like, oh my god, they're chanting Twitch Prime, guys. So we go over there, and like, uh, the group was going there, and I went there, and I'm like, oh my god, guys, Twitch Prime, let's go. Apparently there's a guy called Rich Brian, and I thought they were saying Twitch Prime the whole time. Didn't know that was a thing, but I was just like, yeah, Twitch Primes. And then uh, apparently there's a guy called Rich Brian, and he was good. He was really good, actually. I liked uh, his thing was pretty good. Um, and then the other person that I'm a big fan of now is Billy Eyelash, is also really, really good too. Uh, those were the two performances I thought were really good. Um, so in, in my opinion, those were the ones I liked. But obviously, I didn't see them all, um, so I don't really know. But yeah, big fan of Twitch Prime and Billy Eyelash now. Uh, I think they had really good performances. Obviously, um, I've heard a few of Billy Eyelash's songs before, but I wasn't like a big fan, but I feel like her performance was really good. Like she had a... Uh, Really cool energy and stuff. Um, so those, those are my two best, the best performances in my opinion. But I did only go that one day. So, and also I didn't see every single performance. Yeah, I didn't get to see Harry Styles or anything, like, because I wasn't there that day. So, like, don't, don't, uh, someone's going to be like, I can't believe you think they're better than this person. I probably didn't see the other person. I only went one day because my throat hurts from the dust. But, um. Yeah, I didn't go last night, so I didn't see, like, Dodja or uh, Jaji or, or uh, I don't know. A lot of my friends, I don't know that much about music, guys. So, uh, I mean, for the one day I went, I thought uh, Twitch Prime and Billy did really, really well. Um, this is one song called Ocean Eyes I liked. I actually heard a cover of it first, and I thought the cover was really good. And then uh, it was cool seeing it in person. And this is, this is going to be kind of a spicy take, guys, but I think... Um, 
what's it called? A lot of people when they live perform music, it's, it's not as good as this. Like, guys, okay, I can't be the only one who thinks this, right? It sounds better in my headphones sometimes. A lot of times, actually. In fact, most of the time, it sounds better in my headphones. Um, but I think uh, Billy sounded literally just as good as the actual song, which, which was kind of insane. Because uh, a lot of people don't sound as good as the song. And there's nothing wrong with that. And honestly, I don't blame them because they probably were breathing in dust the whole time too. They probably barely could talk anymore. So, uh, I think for sure they, they were both very good. Um, so that was cool. And you know what really sucks there, guys? I didn't get a lot of food. The food there was so bad. Except for the lemonade. The lemonade people, they were working hard. I don't know if they're, like, the, the lemonade people were fresh squeezing lemons and actually making it. The churros were so bad. I think, um, so Butta bought me a churro. And he was like, here, you want to try a bite? It had, like, no, I was expecting, like, a sweet churro. It tasted like just just raw dough. Raw dough with a little cinnamon, no sugar. It was like one of the worst things ever. And then we got a pretzel. It tasted like little chunks of salt and cardboard, actually. But I ate it because I was starving. And it was, yeah. So it was, it was pretty, that was pretty bad. But the lemonade was good. The lemonade was actually good. I was, I was actually surprised because I was like, look guys, this, the food, kind of food they serve at these things, they don't really work hard on it because I'll be honest, most people like drinking. Or something so they can't really tell if it's bad but the lemonade people were working pretty hard a lot of respect for them for actually making good lemonades they were like they only fresh squeezed it when they ordered it like it was pretty good uh, did butter like it no he didn't he didn't like the churro and stuff for sure but yeah I mean you, you can't blame it. most people don't work that hard um, all in all is it worth the hype um, I think if it weren't for the massive amount of dust it'd be pretty cool but yeah it is just Dust was bad. Seeing friends was cool, though. And the walking. Guys, the walking was insane. Like, uh, so when you get dropped off from, from like, the Uber or however you get there, you know? Um, some people took, like, a shuttle or a lot of stuff. When you get dropped off, it's, like, a 30 to 40 minute walk before you get to the actual, like, where they play music. It's insane. It's actually insane, guys. Is I, I can't believe they make you walk that long. And the road is not paved. It's just dirt and rocks. Which was crazy to me. Um, it, we, we just walked. Like, my feet were hurting. I was tired. You have to walk 40 minutes before you hear the music. And it's, uh, there's no shade either. There's dust all over the place in your eyes, your throat, everything. It's, it's insane. Hassan said the same thing. Yeah, it was absolutely nuts. I think it was... Uh, yeah, like, I'm glad I went the one time. But I, I would probably not go again. Um, and then the other thing <laughs> is when you're leaving... They only have one exit for that many people. So it took us, I think it took me, Mr. Lang, and uh, Abby to like, it took us two hours to get picked up by a vehicle because we had to wait for so long. And then we had to walk down the street. It was nuts. It was nuts, guys. It was, uh, I mean, you kind of expect that, but this was for sure worse than EDC, in my opinion, in terms of getting out and stuff. Throwing the dust and the... All that stuff, just not not great, not great. I think uh, I, a very high chance I would not ever go back. Like, I'm kind of glad I went once, but I would not ever go back. Sounds like most EDM festivals. No, it's, it's guys, I've been to EDC before, and I could be wrong, but I feel like EDC had more people, and it was not that bad. Like, even ignoring the dust, which was absolutely terrible, uh, it took less time to get in and out. It, it was just a lot less bad, about like a miles, I think. Um, so... That's just my opinion. I mean, I, I didn't even want to go back the next day. So, Ethan, thanks for the sub. Uh, the hype was too big. Yeah, guys, I hate to say it, but um, yeah, I think it was not bad. I think, yeah, it just, just wasn't, it wasn't, I'm not going back. <laughs> um, not going to lie, I'm not, I'm not going back, guys. <laughs> um, there's no chance I'm going next year. But if there's no wind and there's no dust, it's like a maybe if all my friends are going. But if there's wind and dust, there's zero chance I'm going back. The actual zero chance. Just was not enjoyable because of that. So I do think the performers did great. And even more, like, they were getting wind and dust in their face the whole time. And they were still trying. So um, I think it was like, you know, by that it was cool. It, it just was not a fun experience. So Hassan said there's too much inconvenience there. Yeah, he's right. Oh, you know the biggest scam was, guys? Remember how I said it takes uh, 40 minutes, right, to walk from where you get dropped off to get to the actual music? It's a 40-minute walk just about. 
And you know how I know that? This guy uh, who was in our group literally timed it. He was like, I want to know how long it takes for us to leave, to get back, to get picked up. It took him 40 minutes to walk there. So it's actually a long time. And then they have these uh, little taxis, like of a dude with a bus with a little cart that will try and take you to the thing. But here's the thing, right? Um, we went up to one of the carts and I'm like, how much is it, man? I'm like, I'm pretty tired. It's going to take us 40 minutes to get there. Like, how, how much does it cost? And it was like, it's like 15 bucks a person. And for like the small group I was in, it was about a hundred bucks, right? And I was like, that's a lot of money, but I'm here to try and have a good time. Um, so it, it's okay. I'll pay the hundred bucks so we can just actually get in and start enjoying it. Now here's the real scam. All right. 15 bucks isn't much. It's per person. So if you want to bring your whole group, it was like almost a hundred plus tip. It was just about a hundred bucks. And then here's, here's the real scam. He doesn't take you all the way. You pay the taxi a hundred dollars. They take you a quarter of the way to the next taxi. And the next taxi is like, yo, another hundred bucks and we'll take you. And I was like, no, this is a scam. And then I, I counted how many taxis you'd go. There's five taxis to go the whole way. So you'd have to pay $500 to not have to walk 40 minutes to get to the meeting. It was an actual scamaz. And then the worst part is mean while you're walking, you have sand going in your eyeballs, in your mouth, like literally everywhere, guys, everywhere. And the only way to avoid it is to pay like 500 bucks in taxis. And like, it, it was weird because I was like, oh, they'll take us the whole way, right? It, it's $100 is expensive, but at least they'll take us the whole way. But no, they took us a quarter of the way and you have to take more and more taxes. It'd be hundreds of dollars. And I was just like, yeah, there's, I, I can't afford that one, guys. Like it's, uh, so I just walked it. Not very fun. Uh, my, like they don't even have real roads. They have rocks and dirt. I'm sure somebody in chat was there, right? It's literally 40 minutes of rock and dirt. Like I would have gone to Yosemite or something if I wanted to go hiking. And I at least would have seen a waterfall at the end. This one, you just get blasted by dirt and stuff. And you're just walking through dirt and stuff. It, it, it was like, there's just so many inconveniences, I feel like. It, I, I didn't, uh, I mean, that's why I only went one day. Because it, it just wasn't that, uh, yeah, I, I think other, other things were more fun. Oh, Bloodshed, thanks for the 100, gifted. I didn't even know you watched you, man. I've heard legends of this guy from, uh, what's it called? Okay, I, I'm sure like most people probably never heard of him. But I've literally heard legends of him from Mr. Lang and... Uh, yeah, but, but thanks for the 100 gifted bloodshed. That is super generous of you. But uh, anyway, it was, it was too much walking, guys. I went home with uh, Mr. Lang and Abby yesterday. Or Butta, I, I don't know. I call him. I kind of mix between the two. But because we were both just tired, and it was not comfortable, guys. I hate to say it. Um, we both pretty much agreed that EDC is better. Um, just because there's so many, like, it's less inconvenient. I mean, it's still going to be a million people going and super packed. But... Uh, yeah, it, it, Coach Law was just so inconvenient, and that's ignoring, like, sleeping. And I still have a picture. Why do I still have the picture here? But um, that's ignoring sleeping in the closet. That was fine. The closet was kind of cozy. But the sand made it really bad. And then um, throw in the 40-minute walk to get to the music. <clears throat> Unless you pay, like, $500 in taxi fees. That, it's insane, guys. It's just insane. Um... Like, I'm not even going to lie, they could give me my ticket for free next year, and I still wouldn't go. Unless, like, there was no uh, no wind at all. So, was the flow of car traffic really bad? It was really bad, and I genuinely think the city was just not ready to handle that many people or something. Because, like, there were just police officers everywhere. Like, you'd think we were robbing the casino again or something, there were so many cops. And they, they were just, just pulling everybody over and causing more traffic. And it was just like, I have no idea. 40 minutes isn't that long. I mean, guys, I'm comparing it to EDC, which is the only other thing I've been to. Um, so, I mean, it's, I don't know. I only can compare it to what I know. Uh, maybe most festivals are that bad, but I'm comparing it to, to EDC, uh, which is the only other one I've gone to. And it was much worse than that, like a, lo a lot worse. Um, but I don't know if like that's a bad comparison. Maybe EDC is like the best one or something. But either way, um, yeah, it was really, really dusty, really, really windy, 40 minute walk to even hear music. Um, and yeah, it was kind of a hassle. But on the bright side, while we were walking there, guys, I got this, this dank picture that Peter took. Um, so we were, we were just walking, right? 
And Peter's like, oh, hey, you look cool right now. I'm just going to take a picture. And like, I wasn't even looking at him. And I was like, what? And then, like, I don't really like pictures. So I was just like, I was just like, don't take pictures of me. But he just took it anyway. My hair looks absolutely busted because uh, there was so much wind and dust. It's like super matted and stuff. It doesn't look great, but the sun looked cool. So, uh, and then Leslie did like little sparkles on the side. So that's the thing. So uh, basically, Peter was literally just like, hey, this is a cool look right now. And he just took a picture randomly. And I was like, okay, I guess. Worst case, we just won't use it. Um, so you can, you can thank him for that. I posted on like, uh, I think Twitter and Instagram or something. But uh, that was cool. Like, I'm glad I went overall, guys. But yeah, not, not the most fun experience. I think it was just so much sand and stuff. I, I don't know. I wouldn't go back. Um, but I am a Billy Eyelash fan. What do they what do they call themselves? You know how like Leslie fans or Leslers? Are we like the eyelashes or something? Or the the Billers? I don't know. But anyway, I'm a huge fan of, of uh Billy. As I think she had the best performance actually. And then I think Twitch Prime I was also a fan of. He was really cool. Um But yeah, overall wouldn't go again. Pretty good experience though, just Yeah. Um, PG, thanks for the sub. What about Harry? Um, I didn't get to see Harry there, so I don't know. Um, I, I didn't see all of them, guys. I went Saturday, and that was it. Like, a lot of people wanted to go on Sunday, but I just couldn't do it anymore, guys. My throat still hurts even today, just from all the sand. Uh, or dust. Is it sand or dust? Is there a difference between sand and dust? I don't know. Twitch Prime? Apparently his name is Rich Brian, but I call him Twitch Prime because that's what it sounded like. Uh, but... Anyway, yeah, it was it was a struggle, actual struggle, guys. I think I showed it earlier, but people probably might not have seen. I have, oops, uh, wrongs. I have uh, I have this mask. It is covered in dirt. Look at that. It looks worse in person, I promise you. But it is covered in dust from all the dust that people are breathing in. So not not good, not good, guys. It, it's just uh, I just wouldn't go back. Oh God, yeah, guys. There was so much dust and dirt. Uh, getting blown around that my throat started hurting. Uh, was it blood? No, it's just dirt. It's just dirt, guys. But it was just so much dirt. It actually started hurting my throat. And, like, I didn't want to eat food because I was so covered in dirt, guys. I would, like, scratch my eye and there would be dirt particles coming out. Um, and then there was, like, one night when... Uh... Okay, so I'm going to be honest. When we got back, I, like, phased out that there was dirt. And I saw Ray's eye was red. And I was like, oh, my God, Ray, are you okay? And she was like, no, nah, it was just dirt. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, all the dirt and dust. So, yeah, like pretty much Coachella. If Coachella was a Pokemon, it'd be a Sand Shrew because all it knows how to do is spam Sand Attack because that's all it did all weekend. It's terrible, I tell you. Terrible. Anyway, um, Bilbo and Load. Thanks for the sub. But anyway, yeah, my, my throat still hurts a little. I don't know if I'm going to stream super long today because my throat just still hurts. I feel like I've mentioned it so many times. But it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It actually, that's why I couldn't go back uh, yesterday. Because it was just, it was just not, not enjoyable. Um. But the music was really good. Do you hate camping? Uh, no, I like camping. Guys, I, I feel like people aren't, aren't understanding how bad it was. Like, it's not like I hate the outdoors or something. I just don't like have it like, I don't like breathing in dust permanently, you know? Like, the, I swear, this guy... Had more, the, the festival had more sand coming out than uh, Gara when he was fighting uh, the dude with the bones. What was that dude? The dude with the bones? Um, I forgot. But you know when Gara fights him and there's like sand everywhere? Actually more sand than that going all over the place in your mouth, in your eyeballs, everywhere. Kimi Mar, okay, people actually remember. That's good. But yeah, pretty bad, guys. Pretty bad. Um, let's see. Harry Styles. I wasn't there for that day, but... I wanted to be. It's because my merch drop was on Friday. But um, overall, I think I feel bad because I think everyone else enjoyed it a little bit more than I did. Um, like, I feel like I would have enjoyed it if I wasn't in physical pain. You know, the physical pain really cuts it down a bit. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see, did you see two anyone? Nope. I saw like a bunch of people. But yeah, my favorites were just Billy and, and Twitch Prime. He hated it. Kind of, yeah, kind of. Dustella? Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's see, are you playing games? I might play later. I just want to talk about the trip and stuff like that. 
Uh, the merch came out. That went great. So. Let's see. Oh, Cheryl, thanks for the sub. Uh, hope you had fun. Yeah, I'm glad I went. You know, it wasn't... Uh, it was something. Would you go again? I think I said this like 10 times. There's 0% chance I'm going again. Unless I check the weather and there's literally no wind. If there's any wind, I ain't going. <laughs> um, pretty much. Because I, I was in physical pain from breathing in so much dust. I, I just can't... Uh, I just couldn't do it. You gonna go to EDC? I probably will go there. I think EDC is like way better than Coachla. I'm gonna be honest. It just is. I do think the... I preferred the music at Coachla, but... Uh, as an event, ADC I think is better because you can, it's just easier to walk in. You don't have to wait 40 minutes of walking or pay $500 in Skamaz taxi bike riders. Um, so like, yeah. Um, Hera and Kay, thanks for the sub. Oh, and Zhao and Lila. Let's see, when is Edict? Uh, I think it's like a, next month or something. I'm not sure. It can be a scam. Guys, I've been there before. EDC is less of a scam than Coach Club. That's pretty much it. Um, I didn't meet a lot of fans, though. I'm not too popular, I think. Like, I feel like most of people who would know me probably don't go to these things. Um, or maybe it's because they were all fighting the dust and wind also. So, like, I don't know. Ray and Pokey, a lot of people recognize them, though. So, not sure. But, um, let's see. You were in disguise? Not really. I mean, it was just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think they were all just fighting the wind also. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay, there was one fan that saw me at Coachella, and I couldn't even open my eyes. There was so much wind. They were like, hey, can I take a picture? And I was like, sure. And I was like, yeah, yeah, just take it real quick. Don't, just, real quick, just please. I couldn't even open my eyes because there was so much sand blowing directly into my eyes. But yeah, there was one fan that asked for a picture, and I couldn't even see. They were like, yeah, look at the camera, and I'm like, I can't, I can't, this, it's too, it's too windy and there's dust in my eyes. It was pretty bad, guys. So, um, I saw that, it was bad, it was really bad. So, um, yeah, I mean, good sides, really good music, uh, Billy and Twitch Prime were great. Bad side was just, there's so much wind and dust. My throat was in physical pain. My eyes were tearing up. It, it was not nice. It, it, was, it was just so windy and dusty. Um, and then by the time I came home, I felt like I was encrusted with dirt. Like, actually, guys, I was encrusted like, uh, well, what's the thing that they do? Like, um, like it, it was like I was like a baking pan, and they put a bunch of like stuff, and it baked the dirt into my, my eyeballs or something because there was so much dirt and dust flying at me. It was, it was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Would not go back for that, but... <clears throat> sounds like you didn't prepare. Guys, what, how am I going to prepare? I can't change the weather, man. It's, uh... Yeah. Did you play Back for Blood at Coach Lut? No, I just did that when I got home. I got home, and I was like, Hey, Myung, what's up? She was like, I'm playing this game with Toast for a sponsor. And I was like, sure, I'll play, I guess. But yeah, I, I came back early just because I was so tired, guys. It was kind of sad, but... I mean... What can I do? I was in physical pain, and I'm not even going to lie. My throat still hurts a little bit right now. Like, when I when I came back yesterday and played with Toast, I don't know if I sounded different, but my throat was hurting. So I was trying not to talk too much. Um, even now, it still kind of hurts just because uh, just because of all the dust and stuff. People wear bandanas. I wore a mask the entire time, but it only does so much. So, like, I feel like I needed a... Like an N7 respirator suit with a mask or something to like cut all that stuff out. So, did you drive or fly back? Uh, I came back with Butta, so uh, we just we just drove. It wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, the shower after Coach was so nice, guys. Do I, I don't I don't I don't know if I should go into the details too much, but after the Coach I took a shower and literally it was all black and brown dust like coming off of me. And, like, I think I spit a little, and, like, I spit out dust, I'm pretty sure. It was bad. It, I was like, guys, I think I'm dying. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it to tomorrow. It was real bad, guys. And that's why I literally could not go back, because <laughs> it was just... It's part of the experience. Yo, you guys are insane, all right? I'm sure there's some crazy... Well, there definitely are some crazy partiers out there. 
that are like totally fine with this kind of stuff. But I'm just like, guys, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. It's just, just, uh, it's just not good. N not good. Um, went to like the Mad Max movie. That's pretty accurate. That is an accurate summation of it. I should bring, I think if I went again, I'd bring goggles, full on bandana, a whole suit. Like I I'd have to bring everything guys, everything. I'd, I'd bring like a hazmat suit. Like I was playing rust or something. Speaking of which, I, I, it sounds like I didn't miss too much on the... So I played the first two days of Rust, and then I missed the last day. Um, but it, it sounds like I didn't miss too much on the last day, because everyone told me they just quit. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it sounds like I didn't miss anything. So I'm, I'm glad about that. Um, they quit? Yeah, I heard they just quit, like, for the fourth time. But yeah, so I, I guess I didn't miss too much. But, uh... Anyway, is it always in the same city? I think Coachla is the name of a city, isn't it? I googled it. Um, I oops, wait. Uh, I googled it, and I think Coachla is literally the name of a city. No oh, god. Um, Ray played and showed everyone why he's. Oh, I mean, I don't really know, but it's just the name of the town. Yeah, I feel like it's. Oh, wait, it's in, 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 oh, okay, well, yeah, I don't really know. It's the name of a place, though. But, yeah, I, I hope they choose a place that's, like, not as dusty and windy. Just not, not fun. But I do think, all right, so I've, I've only been to two festivals before. Are they called festivals? I think they're called festivals, but I've been to exactly two. I've been to EDC once and Coachla. That's pretty much it. Um, so I only can compare the two. Um, and this is pretty much my comparison. I think, um, I like the music at Coachla more, but I like the event of EDC a lot more. Um, you know, so I don't know if, I don't know if people would agree with that. That's just me. Um, so both in the desert. Yeah, but one was ultra psychotic windy and I Googled it and apparently it's like a recurring problem because it's just usually windy there. Um, but like I went to Coachla. And I like a lot of the stuff. I was like, I wasn't really sure who it was. I was, it was just listening. But then we got to, uh, oh, uh, Utada's performance. I thought she was. I mean, I think it's tough to sing. Like, that was one of the ones where I think it sounded better in my headphones. But obviously, you can't blame them too much. They're breathing in dust twenty four seven, dying. You know. So, who? Oh, the person who made the um the Kingdom Hearts song. I don't know. I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan, so I mean, I guess. Okay, I guess chat doesn't know her. I, I don't know. Am I old? Okay, well, I like Kingdom Hearts, so I, I know who it is, but I guess a lot of uh, chat doesn't know them, but um, I don't know. Uh, but I, I thought that was pretty cool. But for sure, my favorites were, were uh, the two I mentioned already, uh, Twitch Prime and uh, Billy. So I'm, I'm a Billy stan. Is that what they call it? I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't say that. Shouldn't. But, but I'm, a, I'm a huge Billy fan now. So, uh, let's see. Um, it isn't the same. I wish I went before. I mean, I've never been before. This is my first time going. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, you're a bad guy now. Is that what they call their, their, her fans? Bad guys? Um, I don't know. I just think that it was good because... She, I felt like she had a real performance. Like it was more than just listening to her songs, and I thought that was really cool, because you know they they went the extra mile. I think so. So that that's why I'm a fan. It's not even just the song, because like I've heard a couple of her songs before. I heard like uh, I heard like a cover of Ocean Eyes before, and like some so like Bad Guy and stuff. But I wasn't a huge fan. But then when I saw the performance, I was like, oh, they did. They like tried to make something more than just playing my songs, and I think that's that's pretty cool, and that's why I think uh, I was like a fan. So, oh, uh, Minnie, thanks for the sub. Who sang the cover? Oh, you know, I mean, some anyway. Um, yeah, I guys, I I can already feel like the dust affecting me again. I guess I should Google this. How long does dust stay in your lungs? Cause like, how long does dust stay in the lungs? Cause like, I for sure breathed in some dust. And I can still kind of feel a little bit. Kind of feel, let's see. Let's see. I'm not screen sharing this, right? So I don't leak anything. What happens when we breathe in dust? 
Something, something, something. I'm trying to speed read this. Bronchi and bronchioles. The air reaches the tiny air sacs. Something, something. Okay, listen, listen. This is too many words. How bad? Am I, am I like, going to take permanent damage from this? Or... I have no idea, but... Oh, no. Yeah, hopefully it goes away is what I'm hoping for. But I, I can still feel it. Like, my nose is, like, a little... Yeah, not, not great, guys. It was just so dusty. So dusty, I tell you. I'm going to change my stream title to Sand Hashira Learned How to Do Breath of Sand Technique by Going to Coachella for One Day. Um, anyway. Um, all right. The mucus takes care of it. I hope so, but I still feel not great. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, I went there and then... I went to this one thing where they gave us like free stuff, but, or not for, like free food, I guess. Um, did you get VIP or GA? Do I tell this weird story? Okay, so basically I was supposed to have a VIP ticket and then like someone picked it up and just lost it somehow. So I don't know what happened with that. And I was like, yo guys, I don't have one. And I think, uh, I think Blau gave me a GA ticket. Um, because he got an extra because he was worried someone would lose it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then um, I went to the 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 Fanjoy thing because they helped make my merch. Oh, how's it going, Baguette? Um, I'm just talking about the coach left thing. But um, what, was I, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I went to the thing and then they were like, wait, you have GA? You should get a VIP because because you're, you're fancy and stuff. And I was like, okay, sure. So they gave me a VIP. And then somehow at the event... I got, it got yoinked again, and I was back to GA by the end of the day. And then there's one time when the whole group had to go to the bathroom, and there's only one nice bathroom if you have a VIP ticket. And I looked at my hand, I was like, wait a minute, I don't have my VIP anymore. And then I couldn't go to the bathroom, and I was like, no, guys, I'll hold it. I'll just hold it, guys. And I was holding it the whole time, and me, Butta, and Abby were like walking out. It's a 40-minute walk to leave, and I was like, yeah, guys, I'll hold it, I'm fine. I don't need VIP, man. So like I'm walking out, we walk out. The the Uber pickup spot was so packed that we figured it's better to walk down the street, uh, like a few blocks away to get picked up like away from that spot because otherwise we'd have to wait like two hours. So I'm like holding it in. We walk for like one and a half to two hours to get far enough away to actually get picked up. I, we get back to the house. I crawl back in my closet, guys, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. Coughing up the dust from the thing. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm not kidding. That's actually what happened. But it was a struggle, guys. It was a struggle. We had a, a whole on journey. Crawl back into my little closet. I plug my phone into my power bank because there's no electricity plug in there. Should I be turning on some sad music? I may as well, guys. Hold on, hold on. Um, maybe not this one. Maybe not this one. But yeah, guys, it was bad. <clears throat> so here's basically what happened. I'm, I'm going to tell the whole story again. Just, just may as well. So guys, I didn't have a VIP ticket. I don't know. I don't even know all the details. I just didn't get it. I got the GA ticket. I traded for a VIP ticket because they gave it to me. And somehow it got traded away again. Everyone had to go to the bathroom and we tried to go to the VIP section. But then I looked, I didn't have the VIP ticket anymore, which means you can't really go to the bathroom because if you go to the regular bathrooms, there's someone pooping in there on the floor for some reason. They're, they're kind of crazy. So I pretty much just had to hold it till we got back. So, luckily, it was pretty late in the night. We were sitting by the churro stand. Mr. Lang bought us some churros, and they tasted terrible. Actually terrible, and I don't even know how much they cost. Because, like, you go and buy it, they just take your card and swipe it. They don't even tell you how much it costs, and it's so loud, I couldn't hear them anyway. So, they probably paid, like, $30 for that churro. And it was bland, tasteless. I think they forgot the sugar, and I had to hold it the whole time, guys. We crawled back, walking out. I was talking to Mr. Lang on the way, guys. It was so windy and dusty that uh, I was like, guys, we're actually trying to make like first contact through a Martian solar storm. We're the first men on Mars walking through the crusty, deserted, dusty, like rock infested wasteland of the Martian landscape. And then like Mr. Lang was like, I can see myself falling down on my knees here and yelling for help. And I was like, don't give up, Mr. Lang. We can make it. We can make it. Just, just don't give up. And he was like, he was like, if I stop walking, I, I won't be able to get up. 
I won't be able to get up. And I was like, don't give up, Mr. Lang, you can't. And then <laughs> we slowly, slowly made it to the Uber pickup spot. And then we asked the guy, we were like, how do we get to the Uber? And then we checked the phone app. The dude's like across the street. We waited for 15 minutes and he did not move because there's so much traffic. And then we were like, maybe we just walk. What if we just walk to the car? And then, and then the, we, we were like trying to walk there and the worker was like, oh, you can't just walk on the street. And we were just like, what are we supposed to do? Just wait here, wait here for three hours. So we canceled the Uber, walked like two streets down, which shockingly took like one and a half hours. There were cops everywhere, actually cops everywhere, spamming the grocery stores were shut down, people sitting on the sidewalk throwing up. And like, we walked over, called the Uber, it, we, we were like, we saw the Uber and we freaked out, guys. We were like, we made it. We're going home, guys. We're going home. We're, we're, not, we're not trapped here. That we all crawled in the car. And the guy was like, thank God you guys walked here. Last time I picked someone up, it took like three hours to, to get to the front. And then he drove us back. And then uh, I just crawled in the closet, laid there for a bit, tried to, tried to fluff my pillow. I went to the bathroom and I, I just kind of huddled there for a minute. It was a struggle, guys. It was a struggle. And you know what the worst part is? The other group made it back before us because they just went up to a random car and said, hey, I'll pay you like 500 bucks. To I don't know if it was 500 bucks, but I assume it was a lot of money. They literally walked up to a random car. They said it was a Russian dude who like didn't uh, or something and it was just like, drive us to this house. And they made it. And then uh, me and Mr. Lang saw it too. Like, I'm not gonna lie. There's like, I don't think they're official taxis. But there's just cars on the side of the road. And they're like, hey, hey, come in my car and I'll, I'll take you back for money. And uh, me and Mr. Lang saw it too. And I was like, yeah, that seems real sus. Uh, I'm just going to take the Uber. But apparently everyone else just took the taxis. That didn't look very official, if I'm honest. Uh, it seemed risky for us, but they did make it back so much sooner. It just seemed a little dangerous. You know, like a little dangerous. But, uh, yeah, doesn't seem safe. I mean... Here's, here's my thoughts on it, guys, right? So a lot of people are thinking it's scary, but I thought about it more, right? Let's say you get kidnapped and they sell your kidney. And they'll get like a few thousand bucks. But if you give three people a taxi ride and scam them 500 bucks, you'll make more money anyway. So it's actually in their best interest not to kidnap people because they'll just rip you off so hard that they'll make more money by not kidnapping you. Because if they kidnap one person, it'll take all night. That's, a, that's your whole night gone. You can drive three people, you'll make more money. Because they scam you so much anyway, you'll actually make more by not doing it. Now, even, even with that, we took the Uber because it's much safer. Um, obviously, it's not perfectly safe, but it's safer. But, uh, chill. I I'm memeing, but actually, that's, that's, it was a thing they did there. Um, you know, it was really crazy, though. Uh, th there were people, like, selling stuff out at the end. How do you know this? I just made up numbers. I'm be honest, guys. I'm, I'm just trying to make it funny. But yeah, basically, we, we had a lot of walking. It was a whole journey. And I'm not even joking about that whole Mars thing. Wait, Marty. Ray, wait, I thought, Marty, I thought you were on that, uh, thought you were on that show today, weren't you? Were you not on the show? You know, Marty was supposed to, I was supposed to meet Marty at Coach Club, but I think he ended up not going. And he dodged a bullet. Well, by dodged a bullet, I mean he dodged a sandstorm. Because I'll tell you guys, Coachla is definitely where you would catch Tyranitar in Pokemon Go if people still played that game. It's kind of dead. But uh, if, if people still played that, that's where you'd find Tyranitar because there's just a sandstorm permanently. Here we go again. Oh, guys, listen, I'm used to saying Marty. I've been calling him Marty for months. It's not going to be easy to just stop calling him Marty. But yeah, basically, you didn't miss out, man. Trust me. You didn't miss out too much. It was, it was a struggle. But uh, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you did. He win the show. Uh, maybe we should. Did he win the show, guys? I don't know if he did, but Kaide was destroying everyone. Yeah, that was kind of expected. She's very good. Um... All right. How do people live there? They probably just stay in their houses most. Oh, you know what my other complaint was, guys. All right. So I I'm just gonna start off with this again. I've only been to EDC and Coachella. I don't really go to festivals. Uh, what I'll say is this, Coachla does not have fancy food, guys. I don't know how to say it, but it, EDC is in Las Vegas, right? So there's a lot of, and they're expensive, but there's a lot of really nice food places there, like at the hotels and stuff. They have really good restaurants there. And then Coachla, you know what we ate, man? We ate McDonald's. 
like uh, random fast foods and they get our order wrong half the time. So like spicy take, that's not a spicy, it's just true guys. The only food available, like literally the fanciest meal you could get at Coach Low was like five guys. And, and it's not even that fancy, man. The bag is like ultra greasy when they give it to you. But like the point is, like you only have fast food there. They don't really have many, many options for food. But like in Vegas, there's like so many like great restaurants. They are expensive, of course, but you know, it's, it's like you can actually get really good food. So I, I think, um, yeah, in my opinion, between the two, I, I think it's, uh, what's it called? EDC is better. You complain a lot. Well, I think it's fair to complain for how much they're charging you and stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't think that's bad. You spend thousands of dollars on a trip. You can't complain about it. I think it's pretty fair. Um, <clears throat> besides, I did say I was glad I went the one time. I just don't think I'd go again. True. Yeah, guys, imagine like paying money for something and then complaining that you don't think it was worth it. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, like if you like buy something, like let's say you buy a car and like something about it sucks and it's like, man, how can you complain? And it's like, well, I paid money for it. I think it's fair. But um, yeah, pretty much it's the food was not great either because like you only can buy fast food there. I don't know why, but <clears throat> yeah. Um, Pfeiffer, thanks for the sub, man. Jezu. Let's see, did other people enjoy themselves? I think so, yeah. I think uh, other people are like way bigger partiers and they probably enjoyed it a lot more. Um, but like for me, it was just too much dust, a lot of traffic, too much walking. Um, yeah. Let's see, did you actually sleep on the floor? Uh, no, I slept on some couch cushions, so it's not like I was on the floor floor, but I did actually sleep in the closet, yeah. Um, so that was a thing. It wasn't that bad. I mean, could have been worse. Yeah. Did you have fun? It was fun sometimes, but in general, it was just uh, kind of a struggle. Yeah. Um, too much people. It actually wasn't too crowded. I think I liked it more in the sense of it wasn't ultra, ultra crowded. So... Um, would you go to EDC again? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go there again. I don't think I'd go to Coachla again, but EDC, I think I'll probably go again, most likely, yeah. Uh, Morpho, thanks for the sub, and Grant. Let's see, is the merch doing well? I think we broke even, yeah, so that's good. So, let's see. How about the music? Yeah, the music was good, too. Like, overall, I'm glad I went once, but all I can say is there's a, there's a reason I didn't go the second day. I think other people enjoyed it a lot more than I did. Um, yeah. You can tell the dust was bad if you didn't complain about sleeping. The closet wasn't so bad, but it, it was genuinely just the dust, guys. My throat still hurts today. Um, so that, that's how bad it was. So. Yeah. My friend said it was the best time of his life, but he was also on a lot of drugs. Yeah, that, maybe that's why I didn't, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not kidding, maybe I'm not kidding, but maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it as much, but I, I don't know, man, I, um, what? Okay, guys, look, look, I personally don't, maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it as much. Is, was that my problem? I, I don't know. Um, Mew, Kenny, and Danny, thanks for the subs. Who said that? It, listen, he's speaking the truth, probably, because I, I mean, I was struggling, but I don't know. Um, see any desert animals? Don't think so. Uh, not sure. Oh, Amy, thanks for the five gifted, Amy. Or Am Kenny. Thanks for the five gifted. That's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch. And Zena, thanks for the sub also. Were there many psych fans you ran into? Uh, not too many, actually. Not too many. That's not a bad thing. I ran into one fan. I, I already told this story, but I ran into one fan, but the wind was so strong, guys, I could not even open my eyes for the picture. Like, I was just like, yeah, take the picture quick, like, quick. And, like, I was trying to open my eyes a little bit, but I just couldn't because there was dust flying into my eyeballs as we were trying to take the picture. And I just couldn't. It was bad. Like, I'm telling you guys, I was so uncomfortable there. Like, I was just going around like this, like a little gremlin. I was like, please, please put my hood on and, like, be like, eh, please, no more dust. And that was pretty much it, guys. And then after braving the dust all day, I would just go back to my closet, huddle in, you know, fluff the little pillow up and be like, eh, and that was it. That was it, guys. That was like my experience. And like, 
the worst part is I feel like everyone else was loving it, guys. They were like, yeah, guys, you ready to go again tomorrow? And I was like, no, no, my throat hurts. My eyes burn. It's a, it's a struggle. So um, I don't know. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't for me exactly. So. Rafael, thanks for the sub. Um, I saw you took pics with some... Okay, so I don't actually know them too well, but before we went to the event, we went to like... Uh, wait, am I allowed to talk about this? I don't know if I get in trouble too bad, but there's like... I don't even know what they do, but there's like some kind of 88 Rising event or something. And that was much nicer because it wasn't as windy and crazy. And then I, I like... Some people knew me there, but I didn't really know them very well. I just kind of showed up and walked around a little bit. I was confused. But um, we went there and then... Yeah. Uh, Zan, thanks for the sub, and Rafael. All right, sorry guys, if I cough, it's because of the dust, so. Um, did you meet Twitch Prime? Uh, no, I didn't, but I saw his performance. I actually, okay guys, I think that was one of the dudes I genuinely had not ever heard his music before, but I actually liked it. Uh, so there's this guy we went to, so my friends knew, and I can, I kind of just followed my friends as like a little group. But there was this guy called Twitch Prime. The whole chat was chant, or not chat, uh, the whole crowd, whatever. The chat was chanting Twitch Prime, guys. They were chanting it. And I was like, yo, who is this guy? Is he a streamer? I've never heard of him. But the, the chat, like, all over, they were like, yeah, let's go, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime. And I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's getting tons of primes. And then I found out his name is Rich Brine. And uh, I had actually never heard of his music before, but he was really good. I think um, the performances I liked the most were the ones where they didn't just play their song or just sing their song, you know? They, like, tried to make, like, a, a whole event out of it. And I think he did that and Billy did that, and I was very impressed by that. That was super cool. Um, so the, I think they did great. Those are my two favorite performances for sure. Um, but, yeah. Um, his streamer brain. Oh, look, I am a streamer, guys. So... Are you going to head in the clouds? I don't know what that is, but guys, look, festivals, I, I don't know if festivals are for me. Especially if they have that much dust. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if festivals are really my type of thing. It's, but listen, listen, guys, this is what's going to happen. Other people, they're probably going to stream today or tomorrow. I think they're back right now because I just heard a door close. Um, and they're probably going to have way more fun than I did. Like, all I can say is there's a reason I left early um, and everyone else stayed. Or not everyone else, but like some people stayed the whole time. I didn't though, because it, it was just not quite enjoyable for me. So, now, yeah. um, how was Dodger Cat? I didn't see it. That was last night, and I left yesterday. So, do you like concerts more? I think it's just the comfort level, you know, like all the walking and the sand and stuff. It made it a struggle, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I think it, it was just the comfort level. It's not like, I think without all the uncomfortable stuff, I would have liked it. It's just like having to walk 40 minutes to get to the music um, on top of all the dust and stuff. Like it just made it so uncomfortable. I just couldn't, uh, couldn't really do it anymore. So which artist didn't you like? Well, guys, I'm going to give you a pro tip. Um, if you compliment the people you do like, is much better than flaming the people you don't like because that's it's just weird to do that second thing. Um, so I can say who I really liked. It'd be weird to say who I didn't like. Um, but honestly, it's not like I disliked anyone. Like the, the fact is, guys, you guys have heard me complain about the sand and the walking for the past like hour. And every single artist out there was literally breathing in sand as they were trying to sing. So whoever they were, whether their performance I thought was amazing or not, they put in a lot of effort, and they probably have actual lung problems for singing during all that sand. So uh, shout-outs to everyone who went there because uh, they, they probably risked their health breathing in that dust, you know? Um, I, feel like, I feel like if this were Demon Slayer, guys, everyone there should be a sand Hashira because they all learned how to breathe dust or something because that's all we did all weekend. Also, it was really hot. I think it was 90 degrees one day, so... Not not the best. Not the best. Um, let's see. Uh, who was the favorite artist there? Uh, for sure, I think Billy. I'm, I'm a large Billy fan now. I think Okay, not even joking, guys. I think if uh, there was a second performance, I would have gone back the second day, even with the sand, maybe. But 
I don't know. Um, Chelsea, thanks for the sub. Um, to anyone, I didn't get to make it to that performance, so I only can speak on the ones I went to because I only went on, I think, Saturday, and um, yeah, so I, I didn't get to see all of them. I, I only can say like the ones I saw. Joji, yeah, I didn't get to see Joji either, so I like I missed a lot, so that's why I only can say the ones that I liked. Um, 90 degrees and you're in a sweater. Well, at the nighttime I wore a sweater, yeah, because um, during during the daytime it, it was pretty hot. Yeah. Um. All right. Um. Anyway, well, that's most of it. Uh, I think. Yeah, I, I think, all, like, total summary of it, guys, I probably wouldn't go back next year. Just not not quite worth it, in my opinion. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that's, that's just me. I mean, I, I hope other people, I think other people for sure had a lot more fun because, uh, I mean, they went every day. I went one day, my throat hurt, my eyes burned, and I was like, guys, uh, I, I feel like I'm being attacked. I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> So... Let's see. How's the audio? Bring bring earphones. Or what are they called? Earplugs? I always bring those. They're always just really, really loud. Where's your sweater for the merch? Yeah, so I wore my merch to the event, guys. And it's so caked in and dust that I literally don't want to wear it until I wash it again. Because uh, yeah, it just got absolutely blasted. Like it's, I'm not even sure it's green anymore. It's like partially brown at this point. So, uh, yeah. I for sure need to like wash it before I uh, do anything with it again. But my bad, can I have your ticket? I actually thought about Okay guys, as we were leaving, there's people that are like, "Hey, if you're not coming back tomorrow, sell me your ticket for like 20 bucks." And I was like thinking about it. I was heavily thinking about it. I was like, "I might not I very likely won't come back tomorrow, but I was like, I'll keep the option. It's not worth the 20 bucks. Maybe I'll go." Ended up not going, but that, you know, was it really that sandy? Oh, definitely, yeah. It was, it was kind of monka. Kind of monka. Um, Bokuto, thanks for the sub. All right, yeah, guys, actual question. Did anybody else, surely somebody in chat went there, right? Someone in chat can back me up on this, right? It was really, really sandy, wasn't it? No? Nobody went? Guys, somebody must have gone, right? Somebody. It wasn't that bad. Okay, maybe I'm not not good with the sand, but it was pretty sandy, guys. Um, I saw the dust from home. Yeah, I think there was like a YouTube stream of it or something, right? This is what I was told, but um, not sure. Um, I went to the BTS thing. Oh, oh, you know what I noticed, guys? All right, so this this is a weird, weird coincidence, right? I had heard BTS songs before, right? I've like I've heard their music, I thought they were cool, but it's not like I was a big fan of them. But then I went to the BTS concert that one time, and I was like, oh wait, they're really cool, like I'm a big fan of them. Um, and then I went to this, and like I had heard some of Billie Eyelash's songs before, of course I was like, yeah, she's pretty cool. But then seeing the live performance, I was like, oh wait, I'm a big fan now. I think if a group starts with the letter B, it just, it, maybe it's a sign. You guys think it's a sign? Because they both start with BTS, Billy. It's, it starts with a B. Bimbus, my dog. Something about B, guys. It just, it's a good sign, I think. Borps, don't forget Corpse's uh, second name. Uh, Twitch Prime starts Brian. Starts with a B. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I have no idea. I just made that up. But weird coincidence. Weird coincidence, I'll tell you. Um, Bingus, don't forget. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, uh, music. Thanks for the sub. All right. Um, yeah, that was most of the weekend, guys. It's pretty cool. I think it went uh, overall well. I got my one good picture. I didn't have cool outfits. Ray had cool outfits and stuff. So did Leslie. Blau had cool outfits too. Like I feel like everyone planned it out. And then I was like, yeah, guys, I got like, got like a one T-shirt and I got my own merch. Um, oh yeah, Pokey looked great. I only saw it on the second day. I think she was wearing like a, a white. Was it white? I think. I feel like everyone had cool-looking outfits, and I was just like, yeah, guys, I got, like, a shirt. 
my one pair of jeans, uh, to be fair, I've only worn them like five times, but it's the only thing I have to wear when I go out. But, uh, the white, yeah, I think Pokey looked really good in the, the white. I saw her wearing the, the black, uh, I don't know what you, was it also a dress? I don't know, but I, I think the white matched her a lot better. Um, but I mean, she always looks good, of course. Fred, thanks for the sub. Let's see. Shopping with Ray? I uh, Maybe. I just feel like I've been busy and tired lately. So, critical. Cool. Thanks for the sub. All right. Her battle armor? Is that what they're calling it? Uh, I don't know. The glitter? That was Leslie's idea. Leslie was randomly just like, hey, you should put this glitter on. And I was like, I guess I could. I don't know. Um, and then I, I don't know if I liked it or not, but I'm gonna be honest. I forgot it was on there guys. And then like I touched my face once and I was like, oh my God, I, my skin is peeling off from the sand guys. I'm dying. And I was like, oh wait, never mind. Leslie put glitter on me earlier. So I, I forgot it was there and it was like super late at night. And I, I was just like, oh God guys. And I rubbed it and I thought I was, I thought my skin was actually getting peeled off from the sand attacks. Like, like you guys ever see, um, What's it called? So, so long time ago, I was learning about repainting cars. Apparently they blasted the cars with sand to like peel the paint off, right? And I'd been getting blasted by sand all day. And I was like, guys, I'm getting sand blasted like a car getting, losing its paint. And then it was, it was just the glitter falling off. But I mean, you know, that's, that's the thing. Um, removing rust too. Yeah, it's to remove stuff, but I was just so shocked. Um, all right. Um, Freezia, thanks for the sub too. Gara, yeah, that's really kind of what it felt like. But um Yeah. It's so dramatic. I'm just I'm just well actually, okay, that did actually happen. But obviously it's just because I'm not used to like, you know. Alright. Um, anyway, that was pretty much it. I enjoyed it a lot, I think. Uh, when other people talk about it, they'll be probably a lot happier than I was about. I mean, I overall enjoyed it. I'm glad I went, but I don't think I would go next year. Pretty much all I can say. Um, just don't think I'd go next year. Did anyone get sunburned? Um, I didn't. I had a, a lot of sunscreen on just because I don't like getting sunburns. So I think I was okay with that. Also, we didn't even go until like later in the evening. Was the green cake good? Never got to try it. Um, yeah. I'm impressed that you went there. I wasn't sure if I was going to go. I'm glad I went for the one time. Why'd you sleep in the closet? Because I had no choice, guys. There was no, uh, what's it called? There's no spots left. Uh, even the couch was already taken. And I was just like, yeah, guys. I mean, this closet looks cozy. So I went around the house gathered some pillows i was like oh yes there's a pillow here and i just walk over and grab a little pillow go to the next room and be like hmm this pillow looks unused grab this pillow and put it in i took some some uh cushions from the couch that apparently myth wanted but too bad um and then i just kind of threw them in there so i mean myth took someone else's pillows he got red pillows those weren't from the couch there's like a chain of pillow gathering we actually had pillow goblins going around grabbing random pillows and cushions to try and survive the journey so it was it was a whole on journey um whiz thanks for the sub okay where can i buy the merch there's no panel oh right i forgot to make that should be on saikuno.shop though i think we've broken even um so that's good pretty happy about that but um yeah wait a minute wait guys I think, I think they're here. Hold on. Oh, Hazan, come here. Well, I'm streaming. Are you? Yeah. What's good? Did you this guys just come back? What? Yeah. There was a lot of sand, right? Where? It was very dusty. Exactly. That's what I was saying. They said I was weak. Incredibly dusty. I said it was like, you, do you watch Demons? You don't watch. No, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. I said we're like honorary sand Hashiras now because all we did was practice breathing sand. It's so true. we're like Breath of the Sand. <laughs> never mind, it was, never mind. No, it's, you're right. I mean, <laughs> it was uh, every night mm -hmm. I was I wish I had a chair for you to sit on it. No, it's all good. Don't worry about it. You guys have mm -hmm. like, they have such incredible tech in this house. They have like self-cleaning litters. 
I've oh never seen yeah, we do. Yeah, mine looks like an Among Us character, doesn't it? It's from my cat. Yeah. I don't know if you heard. I got a cat called Little Cat. That's, you got a cat? Yeah, but like uh, she she's in a different room right now. But it's it's my cat. I... <laughs> never mind. Never mind. This house is sick. Oh, thanks. It's dope. Yeah. I love it. What well, are you doing today? I was just gonna talk about the adventure. I kind of like my throat still hurts a little from breathing in. Why Look at this leave? mask. Look at this so... mask, man. Why did this you leave so sand. quick? Because I was dying. I was dying, man. We were, yeah, I was, uh, I, we had beds, like, you were good. I could have, I was, I was trying to say, like, uh -huh. you know, come, come stay with us, with the cool kids, instead of, yeah. you know, whatever. Are you going to go to EDC? Blame us. No, I'm not. What? But I'm going. I mean, that's, okay, that's enticing. I just, I don't like. Oh, it is? I don't, I don't know. I don't really, I'm not, like, a big raver. I no. think Coachella is more my speed, because it's more like. Me too. I just, it's just the sand I didn't like. It was the sand. I'm looking at your setup. It's pretty oh, good. My setup's Airplane. scuffed. Look, I have like, oh, that? I forgot my, my earplugs. I got these earplugs because the music. Do you use earplugs at the thing? No. You're insane. What? Why? Jesus, you're tough. This guy's a tank. No, I don't. I mean, it, it wasn't that loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Really? I mean, for I mean, me, that's it like, was. That's like, uh, that's like old school nightclub <laughs> thing to do, to just like have earplugs. Yeah. You're, it made you're experienced. Me oh, God, guys, I'm weak. I think I'm weak. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, I was just talking about. All right, I won't. I won't bother you anymore. Oh, you do your right. thing. I just wanted to come say hello. Yeah, it was great and seeing you. I wanted to. I wanted to hang out, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, you you You're guys probably left tired. too early. Long weekends. Me? No, I'm good. I, really? Oh yeah. God, he's healthy. I was gonna. Yeah, no, I was gonna stream today, but well, you should. It's too late. Oh my oh, God, the cat. cat. No, no, this isn't my cat. This is Yvonne's cat. There are so many animals in this house. It's awesome. Yeah. This is dope. This house is right. sick. All right. Anyway, well, go to see you later. As bye, well. everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> All right. See you later. Right, bye. Actually, he's taking the cat out. Um, yeah. um, can we have a good journey home? All right. See you later. Bye. <clears throat> Yo, guys. I think I'm old, man. I think I'm old. He 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 was fine with it. He did say it was very dusty. It was very dusty. All right, guys. It was very dusty, but I think I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I'm weak. Is it the gamer body? Is it, is it? Apparently, he had extra rooms, too. I, how was I supposed to know? Um, he tanked it. I think he just tanked it. Listen, guys, it's because he has a lot more, like, his hair will block it, surely. I'm just kidding. Maybe I'm weak or something. I don't know. I hope he goes to the other one, though, because we didn't get to hang out, too. I mean, I only went one day, guys, and it was super packed, so... Um, but yeah, overall, I do, I agreed with them because I like the music more. It was just really the, it was the sand, guys. The sand. Alright. Um, it's overrated. Uh, it depends on who you ask. Um, I genuinely think I'd go back if it weren't for, like, the savage weather conditions. But, I should have asked him who his favorite music person was. Was it Billy? But I have these earplugs, guys. They're pretty good. They're they're like um they're like those don't don't get those actual pro tip guys don't buy those weird foam ones that you like you crunch and put in your ear those ones are not very good you gotta get like the, the different ones actually you can see the the sand on my earplugs but basically like those ones just don't they make it sound bad but if you get the good ones it sounds like the same just quieter so just just don't get the foam ones like pay a little more and get the better ones I mean. I'll be honest, if you pay like like 500 bucks for your ticket, you may as well get slightly better thingies. Yep. Um, what are the good ones? They don't have to be amazing, but like I got mine for like 20 bucks and they were so much better than the, the foam ones. So I recommend those a lot. Um, Arrow and Gax, thanks for the sub. Buy better thingies? Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. Saikuno's me with social interactions. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. I was like, I wish I had a chair. I'm just not used to having like, you know, people people hanging out. But um, yeah, Son's really cool. Super nice guy. All right, the guest chair. Oh God. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I think pretty much I covered most of it, guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, I just think that the dust was bad. It was bad. He's too tall. Hassan's really tall, guys. I'm like 5'9", 
Hassan is like... I actually don't know, but he's very tall, yeah. Um, also, I mean, I was sitting down, so that probably did something too. Cassie, thanks for the sub. He's like 6'4"? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Alright. You should rest. Didn't expect you to stream today. It's because I came home early, guys. Everyone else is coming home now. So I think they all came back to our place together, and they just got back right now. But I came back yesterday with Butta, so uh, I, I've been, like, chilling the whole time already. Let's see. Um, you should get a stool for people. I could maybe, but it's not like people show up all the time, guys. It's pretty rare, I think. So, uh, Thullum, thanks for the sub. Guys, I can't believe he said I have, like, a nice setup. I don't have a nice setup. You know, people have, like, actual lights. Guys, I have these lamps, all right? And I, I just, uh... Okay, so when we were getting this this uh, house, all right? Um, it was, like, staged. I don't know if people know what staging is, but uh, it's, like, it, was, it had, uh, like, furniture in it. And then I just, like, grabbed a lamp, and I was like, I'm gonna use this for my stream lighting. And I just put a lamp there... And then, like, that's it. Like, other people have, like, fancy stream lights and stuff. And, like, I didn't quite have the chance for that, so. He lied? No, I don't think so. Maybe, I wonder what his setup is like then, if mine looks scuffed. Or, if mine looks good. But. Alright. It works? Yeah, it works okay. I mean, next to a window, also. Um. Do you have the Elgato lights? I do, but not at my new setup. Uh, well, by new setup, I mean like temporary setup because I'm just here on on like a short vacation. So obviously, I don't have my full everything. It's just like a, a temporary setup just, just for a bit, you know? Um, we can see the lamp reflecting off the screen, can you? I mean, maybe, but it, it's not fancy stuff, that's for sure. So. Um, his desk moves. Actually, I got a new desk. Look, it's a little more stable. Okay, it shook a lot. It's not that much more stable, but more stable than before. Actually, this isn't my desk, though. It's Leslie's second desk. So, I Leslie had an extra desk, and I just parred it when I came here, so. Azurian, thanks for the sub. Stable. It's more stable than bef before, and that's for sure. Um, all right. But, yeah, I think that's most of it, guys. We covered most of the, uh, what's it called? Covered most of the, the stuff we did. It was pretty cool. I think other people have a lot more to say than me because I only went one day. But, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Jane, thanks for the sub. Congrats on the merch. Thanks. Hopefully people like it. All right. Did the glitter come off? Yeah, it just washes off. I think, I'm going to be honest, I feel like Leslie's done it a lot. Definitely done it more than once. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I think it was, it was a pretty nice event. Would probably not go again, um, like next year. Well, I, I might go again if I check the weather and there's no dust. Uh, maybe. Like, heavy, heavy, maybe. I think, uh, EDC was just much more fun. It, it, there's better food there. There's better, uh, stuff. You don't have to walk 40 minutes to get to the thing. So, that probably won't happen. Yeah, I googled it, and apparently it's a, a common thing. There's, like, a lot of dust storms and stuff every single year, and it's a struggle. So, probably wouldn't be doing that again. It's just it's just too much dust. Replying to Insta messages. Yeah, guys, I saw a bunch of people, like, posting on Instagram that they bought the merch, and I just replied saying thanks, but I'm going to be honest. I barely use Instagram, guys. Like, okay, I'm, I'm not even going to pretend. So, this morning, I was trying to post that one picture that Peter took, and I couldn't figure out how to crop it. And I, it took me like a while. And I actually had to ask someone for help on how to on how to crop the picture. Because I, I don't know how to use Instagram. I don't use social media very much. So it's like kind of weird. But yeah. Um, Vegas is a desert too. It is, but it doesn't have a wind. The wind is what makes it really bad, guys. It's because it blows all the dust up. It flies in your eyeballs and your face and stuff. It's kind of bad. Like, uh, it's just not fun. And I was wearing a mask the whole time, so. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it. So, yeah. But honestly, I, like, I'm not even gonna, I pretty much just go because all my friends are going. I got peer pressured and, pff, I'm just kidding. It, it was all right. The music was cool and stuff. I mean, but yeah, I'm just glad I went for the one day and that's, that's about it. So. Yeah. 
what rating? Um, see, out of like 10, I give it like a, I mean, I give it like a, probably a six or a seven out of 10, maybe like, I don't know. Um, yeah. Yikes. It's not that bad, but I'm giving it best I can. I give it seven if the weather's better. Um, and then like a six, if you include the weather, like not the best. Def definitely not the best. Um, what about the food? Oh, the food was pretty bad too. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's just not as, not as good. What I can say is I went in and uh, the only thing that really changed is I'm a, a Billy fan now. I'm a Biller. Is that what they call him? You know how Leslie's a Lesler? Is, do they call him Billers or Eilers? I don't know, whatever you'd call it, but I'm, I'm a Biller fan now. So um, that's, that's, I think that's the biggest thing. She's got some good music. Performance was uh, better than expected. So that's pretty cool. Eyelashers. Yeah, I don't really know, but pretty much, yeah, yeah. Big, big fan now. Where's Ray? Uh, I think she just got back, but she's probably chilling. She's probably tired, I bet. Because I came back yesterday. Everyone else came back today. So, no, no. But, um. Oh, uh, Wum. Thanks for the sub. And Sharky. And Zorf. What song did you like? Um, wasn't necessarily the song. And this this is what I think about live performances, guys. A lot of people, and this is this is not like a flame to any of the music, uh, you know, creators out there. A lot of them will pretty much show up on stage and just sing a song that they've sang a million times. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good music. It's good music, right? But I think I was most impressed by the people who would show up and try and do something a little bit more than just singing the song that you've been singing for so long. Um, and there's not like, there's no, like, there's nothing bad with it. It's just cause like, like that's what they're known for. Right. But I think she tried to do something that was more than just a regular performance of a song you've done a million times. Um, and I think like, that's really cool. I think so the worst ones are the lip syncers. I, I wouldn't say that. I think, uh, if they lip sync, at least the song will sound good because guys, if you have dust blowing down your throat, into your lungs, into your eyeballs, it's really hard to sing well. So I don't blame anybody for having trouble singing live on stage when you're actually getting sand attacked like you're in Pokemon or something. So uh, that's, I think that's pretty fair. I just think it's more like, um, it, it's more like they tried to do something more than just playing your song, you know? Because if I just want to hear your song sound good, I would just go on Spotify or YouTube and listen to it, you know? So I, I think that was what, what impressed me the most. Um, you ever performed on a stage? I mean, like in like middle school or something, I, they would, my teacher would force us to read our like speeches out and it would just be awkward. I think this is kind of a weird story, but I think one girl actually peed like in front of everyone cause she was too nervous. I felt so bad. Okay. I didn't feel like, look, I was like 10 years old and everyone just started laughing. I felt bad. Like after the fact, but listen, it's a bunch of like 10 years old. Of course they're going to think it's funny, but the point is. Um, I think that's the closest, but I've never like performed on stage. I don't know. D colon. Look guys, obviously now I think it's terrible, but when you're a five, like when well, you're like a 10 year old kid, you don't really think about that. You just think, ha ha, you know, kind of thing. And I think people who, people are, who are pretending they were any different when they were a 10 year old kid are probably crazy. Cause, uh, listen, I was, is, I was a dumb kid. So anyway, um, true it's kind of true guys i mean listen now it's way different i'd be like man that's terrible but when i was like a youngster who didn't know any better of course i was like haha that's funny um you know and also if i didn't also join in the laughing they'd start bullying me too i'm kidding i'm kidding okay i'm not kidding but anyway point is uh kill thanks for the sub and bub um lamau look kids are kind of messed up guys actually though actually um too real <laughs> oh god but yeah, I, I don't perform on stage. I can I can see why it'd be very difficult though. It's kind of scary. And then you add on all the environmental weather effects, and um, I feel like anybody wouldn't have done as well, you know. So careless. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing today. Might play a few games. I don't have any crazy plans. I was just gonna talk about Coach Love for the most part, and then um, yeah. I think other people will have a lot more to say about it, though, because uh, what's it called? I mean, they went every day. I didn't go on Friday. 
I kind of wish I went on Friday because they told me it was a little less windy. There's less people. Um, but I mean, the merch was coming out Friday. So, um, Syph, thanks for the sub. Year of Psych sub. Get great merch at Saikuno.shop. You used your sub to shout out my merch. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but. And anyway. Um, yeah, the merch went pretty well. We broke even already, so that's good. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Let's see. Any games? It's like a maybe, guys. I feel like a lot of our friends are busy. I don't know how many solo games there are these days. But, like, pretty much most of my friends just came home from Coachella. So, like, they're probably pooped out, I bet. They've just been on a super long car drive. A um, whole bunch of stuff. So, they're probably pooped out. They probably need to rest a little bit. or And then they might play games later or stream later or something. But, uh, yeah, I just pretty much just want to stream a little because it's been a while. And then talk about the, the Coachella and stuff. What about the closet? It wasn't bad, guys. The closet wasn't bad. I, I'm going to be honest. I memed about it because it looked so bad. Like, I showed, like, a little little crack on it that looked really bad. But it, it wasn't that bad. It was kind of comfy in, in some weird ways. Like, I, it was all right. Um, you know what I mean? Where is it? Here, let me let me show you guys the closets again. Um, Is it this? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Right here, guys. Look look at this. There's a little crack from where I hit my head. Um, if the owner of this, if this Airbnb sees this video, that was all a prank and not true. But there's a crack because uh, the couch cushion would slip on the floor and it, I would slide back and, and my head would hit it. There's a little crack on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty bad. But overall, it wasn't terrible. It was like, all right. Um... Like, I had a nice little setup here. I got the, the little charger on the side, a couple cushions. Like, right here, that's my phone charger because there's no plugs in there. And I would just put everything here. So, the weird thing was, um, no, nah, I shouldn't even say it. I shouldn't even say it. But, uh, yeah, so obviously there were people sleeping in the room. Like, and I was like a little gremlin in the closet right there. So, yeah. Um... Only one pillow? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was not the best. Um, I like that little space. Yeah, it was cozy. I felt like I was uh, Harry Potter back when he lived with uh, his uncle or whatever. Is that the right story? It's been a while. I don't remember the story that much. But there's like, didn't he live like in a thing back before uh, the thing? Harry Potter RP? Yeah, pretty much. Actually, guys, just needed like the lightning scar or something like that. Um, what'd you hear? I mean, yeah, n n nothing crazy. Just how many people were there? I, I don't remember actually, but it was super, super full. It was packed and there were like no other places to go. So I just, you just do what you do, you know? Honestly, I wasn't even going to post it, but then Myth posted like, uh, him sleeping on the couch with no blanket. <laughs> so I was just like, well, I mean, if he's already going to do it, I guess, why not? Did you take Miss pillow? I didn't take his pillow. I took his couch cushions because he was on the couch. And like, I was like, well, I need a few of these too. But listen, we're all, we're all out here struggling, all right? So, um, why don't you just sleep on a bed? There were none. There were none left, guys. All right. Uh, didn't take up Hazan's offer. No, I left yesterday. So I was already gone by the time, uh, by the time it happened. So I was just, you know. I also, I was really tired. I didn't want to, like, go somewhere. Um, I didn't go the last day. I just left. It, it was not the best. So, yeah. Um, Juicy, thanks for the sub. And Emma. And Lydia. Fighting for your lives? Yeah, pretty much. That's what we're doing. But I think overall, I'm very glad I went the one day. Can say I went there. Um, would think heavily about going again next, uh, next year. So, that's like a maybe. But, uh... Yeah, I think I'm glad I went the one time. That's that's about it. All right. Um, couples get the beds. Yeah, that makes more sense, I think, also. And honestly, I kind of like the closet. It was cozy. So. Um, EDC this year? I probably would go to that, yeah, I think. Um, but I, I'm not big on festivals, guys. It's like... Uh, I feel like they're fun once in a while, but like they're so tiring, guys. I don't know how people do it. Is it because I have like gamer body? I play too many games or something? I'm unhealthy. 
I mean, like I, I exercise like a little bit, like I don't like work out, work out like crazy, but I'm just so tired all the time. You know, is that weird? Um, did X go? Why did he say he was going? I didn't see him there if he said he was going, but uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he would go to a festival, but if he did, it'd be maybe cool. I don't know. Um, oh, Eve, thanks for the sub, man, Nelvin. All right. Um, Ray Raid? Oh, Ray didn't go to the thing either. I thought he would want to, but I mean, I'm sure he had fun playing Rust. Or maybe he didn't have fun because I heard the third day was just canceled or something. Um, I don't know. Well, thanks for the rate. Hope you had a great stream, man. Okay. He was on a, a late night stream. As he's always on a late night stream. I kind of... Guys, you can tell when... Uh, Okay, this is going to be kind of weird, but you can tell GTA is back in uh, business when everyone has the same schedule again. Because whenever there's a huge event, everyone has the same schedule. Like when we're doing the lower vaults, everyone wakes up at the same time because we're all hyped for it. Doing the casino, everyone will wake up for it because everyone's hyped for it. So when everyone's doing like weird schedules, like Ray streams like 2 a.m., uh, Butta streams like 8 a.m., Tony streams at all the time because he just streams that much for some reason... Um, I feel like that's when you know like uh, we're kind of confused and th there's not much crazy stuff happening because when something crazy is happening everyone will be awake at the same time so X played balloons it's gone bad guys it's gone actually that's not a bad game I remember I used to play that a lot too but um I do think yeah I feel like lately there, there aren't too many games I'm like super hyped to play you know like I mean there's always I guess like Fortnite and a Valorant but no than that I'm not too um not completely sure what people go for. Thors, thanks for the sub. Made a candy tier list? I guess we could do that or something. I don't know. Uh, Mister, thanks for the sub. No games? Oh, they'll be here. They'll, they'll be here. Um, you tried Vampire Survivor? I've seen people play it, but I'm not sure exactly what it's like. So, don't really know. But, um balloons tier list i don't want to make that because i don't play the game enough to really know so yeah oh the gta updates tomorrow isn't it i don't know how much it's gonna change though if they announce like uh i don't know maze bank heist or like you know what i mean i feel like they announced a brand new heist that could be something but right now, it's like there's no crazy new heist or something, and it's, uh, you know. So we don't we don't really know, but I mean, we'll check it out for sure. I, I'd love to check it out. There ain't too much else to go for, so we'll see. But I didn't, I haven't heard anything about a new heist, so. Um, oh, Gua, thanks for the two gifted. X explained why he wouldn't play GTA anymore. Guys, listen, I don't need to hear the exact explanation. I can tell you exactly why we wouldn't play GTA right now. Because there's nothing super fun to do. Like, you, you pretty much sum it up to that. Like, when we were doing the casino, it was fun because no one had ever done it before. It was something crazy no one could figure out. It always feels amazing when you can figure something out that no one's ever done before. And he was the best at figuring it out. Um, so it's kind of like that. But right now, there's nothing like that. I don't know if that's... Okay, maybe he had a different reason. But that's my reason that I don't play it quite as much. Because... There's just nothing amazing to do right now. Um, and that's, I think, pretty much it. At least in my opinion. Lindsay, thanks for the sub. All right. Um, oh. You had a different reason? It's the chatters? I mean, there's probably a lot of reasons, but guys, guys. Chatters suck, but people people can live like... Listen, people get flamed in chat all the time. I got flamed in chat literally 15 minutes ago for complaining about there being dust at the coach love event, and i complained a lot that, that's true but hey look i had dust in my eyes dust in my lungs and my throat everything and it sucks but it's like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen you know so i mean what are you gonna do i think the main thing is just nothing crazy uh to do right now so don't know andy thanks for the sub and yes sir uh, all right. You still going to play Devour? I mean, maybe, but I'm, I'm not sure. 
The new Valo agent? Um, I have no idea. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. Valo is like my backup game for when, uh, you know, when I'm not sure what else to do. So, yeah. What's the plan? I was just going to talk about EDC or not EDC, uh, the coach luck. And then uh, maybe play something, but I don't really have any crazy, crazy plans going on. So, not sure. Let's see. Thought that was League. Yeah, I don't really play League very much. All right. You going to go to EDC? I probably will, yeah. I was thinking it's just kind of a two for one because I've been on vacation in L.A., uh, but obviously, I live in Las Vegas, so I was just going to go back and also go to that. It's kind of a two-for-one, I think. That's pretty much most of my plan. Um, Delta, thanks for the sub. All right, did you read the patch notes for the GTA update? Guys, I don't want to be like a pessimist, but I read the patch notes, and it's like a few new civilian businesses, like some new cars. It's all like cool stuff, but there's nothing like that would directly change my gameplay. Like, it's not like there's a new... Maze Bank FIB heist or something that would really draw me back in. Um, but obviously, I'll check it out. I mean, you know, I like hanging out with uh, with Mr. Lang and everyone. I miss him. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's like you just we just need stuff to do if, if we want to go back into it. Oil rig? Guys, it's not rust, all right? It's not rust. It's not like you raid the oil rig. Um, so, you know, it's it's just, it's not oil rig like rust, like some some raid to do. It's It's just like another thing. You know? Also, what does the end with the squiggly line mean? Anyway, uh, person, thanks for the sub. Oil rigs for sieves? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of sieve stuff, but I mean, that's not necessarily bad. Like, it's you can't really say until you know, but uh, from what I read, I, I'm unsure how that's gonna go. Um, you talking Spanish? Uh, no, I don't really speak that much Spanish. I can speak a little bit of Spanish, but not that much. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too sure. Oh, um, M Little, thanks for the sub. Okay, would you play Monopoly or Codenames? Oh, Codenames is always fun. If you find the right group, guys, I think that game's always funny. Because you just get, like, these weird situ- It pretty much encourages you to do really weird situations, which I think is very, very fun. So I, I like that a lot. What about the business RP? I wanted to, but they wouldn't let Marty run it for me, and there's no way I could do it without him. So, I mean, it, it just it just didn't pan out. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Lily was learning Spanish with us yesterday. I saw her tweet about like trying to learn a different language, but I mean, I don't really know what exactly the thing is. Tier list, guys. Tier lists are like two. Uh, a little too spicy sometimes, but I don't know. Oh, uh, Tang, thanks for the five gifted. It's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch, Tang, for the five gifted. All right. Learning Japanese? I don't know about that. But yeah, guys, what do people do these days? I've been gone for a few days, right? What, what games is everyone playing? Um, Going to TwitchCon? Pro probably not. I don't even have a passport right now. React content? No, oh, God. Unbanned tier list. Um, I could maybe do that. They play Fortnite. I could, but I feel like I'd want to squat. Do I want to solo Fortnite, guys? Is that what we go for? I do like the new no build Fortnite, but I mostly like it with a squad and stuff. So I mean, no. Um, Master Chef. <laughs> Guys, you know the problem with MasterChef is? Um, I can't really react to it because I've already seen it because I was watching with uh, was watching with a friend on Twitter. No, I'm kidding. I, I watched XQC stream it all the time. Um, so, like, I've already seen it, guys. It's I can't pretend to react to it if I've already seen it. You know? Lamau, it's, it's kind of true, guys. It's weird to re-watch it and pretend I've seen it. You know? Um... Let's see. Change the title now to what? What do you mean? What did I change? What even is the title? I don't know. But yeah, I feel like I've seen it already. So. Um, pretend you haven't seen it. Yeah, I can't really do that. It's just hard. 
So, oh, uh, Felix, thanks for the sub. But yeah, not too sure, guys. Not too sure. Candy tearless solo rust. That is one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. I think I've heard rust is, uh, you know, so like public rust servers I've heard are kind of sort of bad. Um, I don't know. Like a candy tier. We could do a candy tier list, but I don't know if that's a good idea. But I do think I've pretty much told most of the coach list stories. I did only go one day. I'm sure other people got other things to say about it. But um, and I think overall I'm glad I went for the one day. And then I I'm like kind of 50-50 on like if I stayed for the the last day. The reason I didn't go was cuz I'm just going I wouldn't have enjoyed it. But the reason I wanted to go was cuz I know I'm not going again next year. There's no way I'm going next year. And that's why I was like if I'm not going to go again and I'm already here, do I just force it even though I'm kind of suffering a little bit? I don't know. Like I feel like that's uh this is sort of a choice, like, cause I'm already, I'm already there, right? Like, so I don't know. It was, uh, it was, I ended up not going though. Just, it just wasn't super, it's not my favorite type of thing. Um, Sango, thanks for the sub. Let's see, PUBG. I know Leslie's been wanting to play PUBG and I saw, I saw a few people playing it recently, but I am worried cause it's like a little bit clunky, but I don't know. Um. Who? Okay, Coachla artist tier list. That one might be a little too spicy, guys. We're not trying to get people to fight each other here. No. Yeah. The Gundam game. That game was more fun than I thought. I was so confused because when I first saw it, guys, I was like, "Is this a sponsor?" And they were just playing it for free. Um, it wasn't a bad game. I'd play it again probably. Um, near. Thanks for the sub. How was back for blood? Okay, guys, I was playing it with Toast yesterday, and I'm gonna be honest. Uh, since they didn't sponsor me, it sucked. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, it was it was all right. I don't think I'd play it a lot, um, but they didn't sponsor me, so I, it sucks. I would never buy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It it was all right. I don't think I'd play it again though. Um, probably. So, um, near. Thanks for the sub. All right. Minesweeper. I actually know how to play Minesweeper, but like it's such a, a such a slow game. I feel like um, friends tier list. That's a crazed idea, but uh, yeah, I feel like group games have always been my favorite. Guys, kind of worried about that, but like it's just it's just more fun. Like guys, you can get a bad game and it'll be fun with the right group. Kind of like uh, you guys remember the old Amogus days. Apparently, by the time we had started playing that, the game had been out for years already. But it was just not that fun until you got the right group of people, and then it was super fun. Um, the right group of people plus, uh, you know, people people missing social interaction because of COVID. Uh, but the point is, you know, group games can be so much more fun just because playing with people is way more fun. The game might not be that fun solo, and then it's super fun when you're playing with your friends, you know? So... But sadly, there aren't too many games like that these days. I mean, you know, Valorant's not like a bad one. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, um. Anyway. Oh, Crab Game. Yeah, I played that with, uh, with like Luca and a bunch of people. And that was really fun. I want to try and get another group of Crab Game together. Maybe we can get the, the clean boys and stuff together or something like that. Not sure. But, uh. Also, guys, if I cough... I didn't catch anything. I just breathed in a lot of dust. So like, I'm, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to stream super long today because I just know that I'm going to be coughing a little bit um, just because of all the dust I was breathing in. Not great. Not great, I tell you. Let's see. Um, We're never getting CB game night. Guys, butta has been messaging me saying he misses our game nights. We just, I mean, obviously we were busy with Coachla this weekend, but it'll happen. It'll happen soon, guys. Soon, surely. Surely. Um, and we had Rust. Rust was pretty funny, guys. I kind of missed that. All we did was gather stuff, gamble enough to get a helicopter, and then say, what about two helicopters, and then go all in and lose it and get no helicopters. But, you know, that was, that was like content in itself, kind of, in a weird way. Are you in voice acting? Um... 
I mean, sort of. I had like two lines where I just made like a grunting noise. I was like, yeah, that was it. But I think Toast like made a video on it. I don't know if he actually included, um, I don't think he included our actual lines, right? Wouldn't that be against like DMCA or something? Because we don't have the rights to use that, as far as I know. I mean, can you just, can you just include it? He's a maniac. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It wasn't huge. I, um, I'll, I'll be honest, guys. So as far as that goes, I'm not a good voice actor. Like, I don't think I sound bad or anything, but it's just like, um, what's it called? Um, I don't know how to act. I feel like they have to find a character that fits me and then be like, yeah, say lines for this, but just sound like you always do. And I'd probably be able to do it because it's a character that like fits me. But the character I was supposed to act as was supposed to be evil. And the lady was like, you got to yell more and sound more evil. And I was like, I I'm trying. I'm trying. She kept saying yell. You got to yell more. And I was like, I'm trying. So like, it I wasn't very good at it. I think uh, Toast was pretty good at, at it. But um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't the, wasn't the best at it. Um, but I think it's mostly just because I'm not good at the acting part. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's a skill that can always be learned. It can be, but hey, as I'm just going to say, like voice actors do not get paid enough. Um, that's pretty much all I can say. I think it's cool to be in like an anime. Like, I hope I get a small role in like an anime I really like. Like, guys, guys, you know, like Demon Slayer or something? So that, that anime was like, it was a small one, but it was by Funimation. I don't know what other animes they have, but give me like a random Demon Slayer in the background that just dies and have me make a noise. Like, I'm, I'm not a voice actor, but like, just have me like be a random dude in the back. Make me a, I don't know if this is a big spoiler, but there's this dude called Murata that like, he, he kind of sucks if I'm honest with you, but he fights the spiders at the beginning. Just make me that, dude. Give me, like, two chill lines, and that's it. Like, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. I just have, like, two lines. I don't even have to act. And then I'll be like, oh, my God, that's me, guys. That's me. So I'm hoping that I can, like, get a small role that doesn't really matter in a show I like where, like, uh, I'm just in the background of one episode for, like, two seconds. Because, um, obviously, I I'm not an actual, like, good voice actor because I'm not good at acting. I'm just, I'm just not. So... The dude got eaten by spiders. Well, he's dead. Well, I didn't know that. Thanks for spoiling me. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I was just thinking a random minor character. Um, like that, you know, isn't ultra important. Maybe just for a second. But... No. Um, no, he lived. Oh, so now I'm actually spoiled. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyway, Skyla, thanks for the sub and Kenya. Um, let's see. We need the Saikuno scream to become a thing. I don't think so, but I do think it'd be. Guys, I would legit do it for free. Just put me in the background of an anime I like. I'd do it for free. Um, Arch, thanks for the sub. All right. Breathe in the show. Yeah, guys, if there was a sand breathing style, they should use me because I breathe. I practice a lot of sand breathing this past weekend. That's for sure. But, um. Anyway, I'm about to watch that. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. But, uh, <clears throat> for free? I mean, yeah, probably. Why not? I don't, I don't have anything, like, crazy happening, so. But, yeah. Karen, thanks for the sub. All right, guys. What games have people been playing while I've been gone? Because I actually don't know, guys. I actually don't know. I can't solo. I mean, I could solo, like, Valorant or something, but... Oh, that's a good idea. The Sims? You guys have surely got to be trolling me, right? Well, there's actually a lot of people saying Sims. Guys, you're trolling. You're trolling. Who's playing The Sims, though? Like, there's no way there's a lot of people playing The Sims. There's, there's no way. Um, Sims actually? Uh, we're being trolled, guys. What actually are people playing? There's no way. That's like... Uh, Listen, it's not a bad game, but it's such a slow game. It's like, there's no, it's not like super crazy or exciting or something, you know? It feels like. Um, blooper, thanks for the sub. All right. Actually, okay, let me check the, uh, hold on. Let me, let me see recently played, guys. Recently played. 
Let's see, marble balloons. Um, yeah, not too sure, guys. Not too sure. The rust event was kind of cool, at least for the couple days I played. But let's see. You ever tried Dead by Daylight? Yeah, but I'm really bad at it. I feel like at first the killer's super OP, and then when the the what are they called? The runners or whatever they're called. They get a little stronger. They're like, it just gets really annoying being a killer. But yeah, um, Mike and Hades. I heard that was a good game, but play a lot of multiplayer. So, oh, uh, Sapper, thanks for the sub and blooper. He rolled everyone in dead by day. Guys, guys, it's because when you're against new runners, it's like super easy, but it balances out a lot more later. I think so. Yeah. All right. We got two options here, guys. Two options. Pretty much exhausted the coachless stories. All that stuff. We could either solo a scuffed, scuffed game. Guys, guys. Emma's stream title is I Have Nothing to Do, and she's playing Metopia. It's gone bad, guys. It's gone real bad, you could say. Um, Colin, thanks for the sub. Oh, and Autumn react to stuff I don't know how to react guys reacting is tough right it's tough um, I don't know how to I don't know how you do like how, how do you find stuff to react to though actually just go on YouTube guys I've, I've actually seen people react and they'll open up their YouTube and like they'll just click their recommended and I don't I don't want to make this weird or anything but I, I'm not like I don't want to open up my YouTube and have people see my recommended for various reasons like I just get like a lot of like, uh, you know, you know what I mean, guys? You don't want to just show off your YouTube recommended. I get, I get like a lot of DMCAable stuff. Do it? No, 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 guys. It's, it's not something weird. It's just I get a lot of DMCAable like song covers for some reason. So like I don't want to like risk that because it just sounds like a bad, bad idea. You know what I mean? I don't want to get DMCA, you know? So um, Risen and Chris, thanks for the subs. Watch the Twitch Rivals clips. I mean, wait, wait. It wasn't there, um, what's it called? Wasn't there, like, there was, like, something that happened we could watch clips for. I just don't know where to find him. We just watched, like, Toast or something? I think he was streaming the thing, right? I don't know. Um, oh, Kate, thanks for the sub. All right, Super Auto Pets. Guys, that was fun in its time, but I'm pretty sure that game is, like, cooked, isn't it? It's over. I, maybe I shouldn't say that, but it's over, right? Nobody plays that anymore. I don't think, anyway. I got my hat, though. got my hat. It's pretty cool. Um, leather and anime. Thanks for the sub. I still play it. Oh, Ludwig still plays it? No, he doesn't. Does he? Does he? Um... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure, but I mean I don't play it. Okay. You have your switch set up? No, I don't. I have um my switch is still in Vegas, so I I have to buy a new one and I I don't know if I want to. Um cuz it's like yeah. Um Oh, Shadow, thanks for the sub. Elden Ring was very good though. Elden Ring was one of the few games I actually just played off stream cuz I liked it. Um so that, that was a good game, but it's it's pretty much so. I mean, I beat everything in it. There's not much left to do anymore. So I think I'm level like 300 in Elden Ring, guys. I'm an actual Elden Maniac. And like, uh, yeah. So I think that's pretty much for the most part over. Like I'm just too high level. I pretty much beat everything. So let's see. Um, what's the plan for today? Nothing crazy because my throat still hurts a little bit from Coachla. But I did want to just, I mean, I haven't streamed in a while. I did want to just get on, talk to you guys about the event, stuff like that. See if you guys are still alive. Uh, shout out my merch, Saikuno.shop. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I mean, not, not crazy plans or anything. Um, I kind of miss the days when, like, GTA was, you could just hop on and do something. And it'd always be fun, but those days are long gone for the most part. But there's a new update. Maybe it'll save it. <clears throat> surely, surely a new update will save it. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, that's most of it. Becoming a just chatting stream. Guys, this is our first time doing it. And it's just because we were gone on the event. It was a pretty fun event. So, is the update tomorrow? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's see. Play the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game. We could maybe do that. I don't know. Do we want to do that, guys? I think... I feel like I'd be so bad at it, but... Um, Oh, we could see... No, there's uh, What's it called? Uh, Miz's show. He had a... What was it called? Like, there's some show Marty was on earlier. I mean, Omi or whatever. You can always see that. It sounds like Kaede won, though, so it kind of got spoiled, but I mean... Oh, uh, user. Thanks for the sub. React to Leslie's episode of Schooled. Is that really what I want to do? We could, but I mean... I didn't know she was on it, though. Did she do well, or... Guys, I feel like I'd do so bad on it, though, and it's already over anyway. She won? Guys, Leslie, I'm, I'm not afraid to say, Leslie's smarter than I am at that kind of stuff, like, actually. Uh, we can try it. Is it just on YouTube? I feel like we should do Marty's episode, since it was today, though. Um, is, is it just on YouTube, or is it, uh, do I have to look up the VOD? I feel like the VOD is so much more of a hassle. You know, I'll say one thing I like so much more on YouTube is the VODs are so much easier to watch, but I mean, let's see. Um, all right, Saz, thanks for the sub. Hold on, let's, let's try and look up, uh, let's see if it's there, and if it is, we can maybe do it, but there's no way it's here, right? Um, oh, wait, it's here already. Is this the official, like, thing i don't want to like support the non-official channel oh the first thing it says unofficial but what if i just watch it anyway though I... <laughs> react to the twitch rivals clips the twig rivals um i think i shouldn't you know i i feel like i'm just gonna i mean from what i've heard i feel like that one's just gonna be like a, an avoid that one um you know i i, I don't know if uh I don't know if that's a good idea because, guys, I, I came home yesterday, right? I didn't stream yesterday, but I did come home yesterday. And Toast was, like, playing, like, some game. And I joined, and I was like, hey, Toast, how'd the Rust thing go? And he, he just didn't want to talk about it. I don't know what happened, but he really didn't want to talk about it. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Like, I'm not going to do anything like that. Um tea time no no it's it's probably fine but yeah i asked him he just didn't want to talk about it so i was like that's okay um he got called into so many admin calls yeah i'm not really sure what happened i mean it sounds like they lost pretty badly so i'm just curious if this will affect whether or not more of these things will happen because i do think it was very fun the first like day or two super fun actually super fun um, and then I heard the third day when I went to coach love, they straight up just didn't play or something. I don't know if that's what happens, but, uh, yeah, I, I heard th that nothing happened the third day or, okay. Wh what should I say? I heard something happened, but not like, uh, you know, <clears throat> not like rust kind of battle happened or something. I don't know, but it, it was pretty fun at first for sure. The Dharma. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Obviously, I was busy uh, out in the desert out there, guys. So, can't really say for certain. But, um... Alright. Um, but yeah, I, I think we should, uh, you know... I think we're good on that for the most part. Um... Alright. They may or may not have all... Oh, God, man. He organized it for months to get it canceled at the end. Yeah, guys, it happens, man. It happens. It's it's not easy, but it's life. I do think overall it went great, sort of. Like, the beginning was fun. Sort of, kind of, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Um, okay. All right, guys, you know what we'll do? We're just going to do that thing where we watch the schooled episode. And we'll see if we would have done well. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we would have done well. 
I, I'm just gonna say it. We probably I'm bad at this. I'm just bad at this, guys. All right, give me one sec. Let's um. I'm just gonna pull it up and we'll see if we can do okay on it, but I highly, highly doubt that we will be doing okay on it. Don't click that, don't click. Wait, what is that? When does the show start? Who's this? All right. Now you play Fortnite all day. Yeah, that's true. All right. Guys, guys, Let's where's the um the chat? I'm so sorry. When does when does it when does the question start? <laughs> Hey, come play sometime, man. Come on. Oh, hey, there's Miz. Hell, f I, look, I even tell Ludwig. There's no building now. You'd be great. I H Rock doing it at Nvidia. When hey, it's Kaide. Like, she Why carried me to there? silver in, in Valorant. Shit, you know what I mean? He's a loser. All right. Uh, self that, like I do every single day. Just go skip through. Yeah, we're gonna go through. Kaide, yeah, guys, she's like one legit. One of the person. only reasons I even made it to you silver. Hey, do? Mart. I mean, Omi. Um, I was gonna say Mart. I don't have to cheat because it's one thing to make content out of being good. Like, uh, you know, like a professional player, okay. but it's another thing to make content out of being bad. And that's what I do best. That's why I don't pretend for a living. Oh, okay. what's this guy talking about? He's like the See? best hacker in the game. No, what, what does he mean being bad? People. This guy is actually one of the best hackers screen. in the game. The Says he makes content for being no bad when he's literally better than everybody else. Okay. Here we go. I'm not sponsored. I'm. I, hey, Connor, he won uh, Ludwig's show. I, I thought it, I thought was that, that was uh, Lud You guys remember? I was on it, and he beat me by like a little bit. <laughs> when do the questions that, start? You will lose. I will so two sheets. Right? I don't uh, care about that. Uh, <laughs> get it wrong. Go anywhere. Kinder. Right. Okay. Well, I can do kindergarten, surely. Right. What is three plus three? <laughs> All right. So this is six. So we have I to think. show our work. Yes, Omni. He's trolling. He's trolling. I'm, I'm, I, I will actually leave. Stop doing no. that. It, it made me doubt. Clock. The answer they is have, six. It's six. Let's go. All right, we made it. We made it past. Let's go. Yeah, I passed right. kindergarten. I mean, everyone's going to get that one, obviously. Thank you for it's, showing my work. Yes, you should show right. work for math for the most part, but the first four grades, I don't care. Please. Yeah, I mean, sure. that one, I think it's fine. Sell. Month comes before January. Okay. December. Is this also a trick, a trick question? question? Man, you're killing it. Is it right before January or any time before January? It's the time uh, right before January. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, is this a trick question or is this like... Oh, I forgot the lock. I th I think December. I can't tell if this is a trick question or if I'm... Let's skip to the answer. You like, my okay. you like my Christmas tree? Okay, most people got it. Show to run, damn it. Okay, like... <laughs> oh, did she show her cat? Wait, how old, are, how old is that dog? Oh, it's a dog. It's a baby! Oh. A cat. I mean, a dog. Is Whatever. This <laughs> fruit? Okay, guys, maybe I'd be better at this show than I thought. Um, the screen's a little cut off. Yeah, my my uh my scenes are not 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 uh, perfect. I'm gonna be honest. I always have. I can try and adjust it better, know. but I'm just you trying to make sure you can see the question. Yeah, I, I stand by. I hate Twitch. I'm just trying to make sure you can see the question because it's like I'm not gonna Would get it, it perfect ever. be a new rule ever. that we have to write everything in cursive to make it more realistic? Yeah, it, it's not gonna be it's perfect, guys. Realistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, me trying to fix it is making it worse. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'll put myself here. If you, if you still I went to a guys, me trying to fix it is it's gonna make it worse. You should never All right. Sucks. Um. And I'm the well, teacher. Exactly. That's why it would be extra The fruits. Hard. I believe this is a right. watermelon. It, it, it fills my comfort. It's uh available to you right now. Okay. Just first grade. Twenty minus ten. The answer is ten, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I cheated. Yes. I, guys, I cheated. I saw the answer. I'm just kidding. That was. Guys, I, I kind of want to skip a little farther because this is going to take too long. These are some fire questions. October. Get the dog. Yeah. Listen, nobody got this on. wrong, no. right? It's called a pumpkin. It's called. Okay. Don't pretending. Okay. But I can show. We were a I got to get to. Right? What is this? What? <laughs> nobody fails these, yeah. surely. Okay, let, let's yeah. get to like a hard one. Hey, it's so <laughs> Wait, he got one wrong. I mean, no, no, I didn't say that. Snakes produce milk? I don't think so. Where's the the English class? I'm good. I think one. I think no, probably. All right, that is double credit. Congratulations. Hey, was the answer no or about? was it? Things are looking up for me. You're yeah. looking you're looking good. You're doing it's, great it's, job. It was no, right? Shout her out at this point. She got okay, the third, third grade. grade. This I is where it gets hard, cheat. guys. This is I where I start it. failing. You can do it. You can do it, Bordy. I believe you. Okay. Thank you. All right. It's no. I knew it. I knew it, guys. This is where it gets hard. Oh boy. Oh. 
Because at some point, it's just my memory, not not anything else. People are gonna think. Ends. Is there? They should make an app where Jason. we can just play along. Tell me to get in here. So. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Would you would you come on the show? All right. Oh, you want to come on the show? Come on. Hey, it's no, just tens. Tell us, say what's up. Fuck. All right. I'm in third grade. Um. Easy stuff. Omi is just on top right see. now. Let's Marty see seems like he's doing Chat. well. Do yeah. I mean, o win? Omi. Kaide is going up, up, up. She's bringing up what do these percentages guests. mean, guys? Oh. Is this who they think will win, or...? Okay. That is okay. Three times four. Okay, I think it's 12. Tito is now cleaning. I, I, guys, I'm... I'm Let's skip further. This is... Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor dude. Okay. When an animal is... When an animal is nocturnal, they like sleeping during the blank. The night? Just next right. question. Uh, Mommy, you don't, they, they don't, the they don't night? Teach you what nocturnal means in guys, Katerino. guys, we gotta get to. Huh? Katerino is apparently reported in the okay, boys let's right just now. go they until it gets harder. I feel like I'm, I'm taking too. Uh, these, these ones are too easy. Yes, this is Chesta. Day. Teacher, can I stand up? Oh, it's when they sleep night. toward. Okay, yeah, yeah I thought it meant they're awake you, during the night, night. Obviously. Like, I just heard nocturnal. I just wrote. You feel, it's because I read like when I hear nocturnal, so I think they're awake during the night. But I the question was asking answer. backwards. So. That, just right, that, that makes sense. Is like, you know. it was a debate, guys? It's a debate. That's how the other guy got it wrong too. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense, guys. It's like a backwards question. I'm like, oh, night. So, you sick yeah, that's exactly oh, what I thought too. When changed. you hear nocturnal, you're like they're active during the night, but the question hey, is the when they're votes. not active, not when they are active. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's it's kind of a debate. You know, I, I get it. I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them what's good. All right. Kai Day, if they are uh, for these. Let's Wait, see. Wait, what? Oh no! I used Each my shelf hands can and hold everything, nine cans. and I got it wrong. There are 58 cans. How many do you need? Yeah, I choked. Times like, up, seven up. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me. Okay, I went to the end. So, all right. Let's see. Let's. Uh, let me. Let me think. What's nine? Fifty-eight. Five, six. You, you, you get away with six. Uh, no, you need seven. You need seven, right? Yes. I think right. seven Jeez. probably. Let's see what Bordy put. Are you allowed to use a calculator? Nine, I had to do that in my seven. head. Then why'd she put six? Okay, so I used my hands, and with the uh, nine table, you can. Oh, you put can't my use a calculator. Down, and I was like, I mean, it's oh, possible to do, but it's obviously a little. That's fifty-four. But then I realized. Okay. I need four more cans, so it's seven. Um. Well, that sucks. Is she still getting kicked off? Well, we I still mean... beat simply. You know, you should be damn proud of that. Um, <laughs> remember that one. You oh, that's unfortunate. Simply, but I, I mean. I knew I messed up. Simply already is gone, chat. Right, okay. this one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get the next one. Wait, true or false? Japan, Japan is an island, island country. country. The answer is true, I think. Uh, oh, okay. All right, we're, we're good. I don't know. It revolves around the sun. It... Does the Earth rotate or revolve on its axis? It's rotate, I think. Is it rotate? It rotates on its axis. Yes. Oh. Connor getting easy claps. It's now rotate. Getting the not looking too good for right. Omi. Badge. It is it's not too bad. Not a trick question. Pants knew that he All right, fifth grade. Copy. What is 45 thousandths in decimal form? Um, it's point zero zero four five point one zero. There's only one zero, I think. Point zero four five, I think. There's only one zero because I don't know. I might be wrong. I don't know, guys. Um, it's, there's only one zero in between. Is basically what I'm thinking. Writing. I put P. School. That's Where's the answer? So is... Oh wait, is that the answer? Okay, I got it wrong so then. Okay, I'm I got it wrong then because I thought there was only one zero. <laughs> All right. Oh, um. I get it now. <laughs> like, what Dude, next chat, one? No one knows that the one. capital yeah, of Hungary. I'm just gonna say I don't know. You all looked on Google. Um. All right. Uh. Next you have like a, a Moscow. Next. <laughs> Buddha. Pa okay. Yeah. I have no idea. I that one I failed already. It, it's that's like another memory. trick question. Hottest planet in our solar system. So you would assume it's the closest one, right? I don't yeah. know. It's like Mercury. Or 
Is it Venus because of the gases trap it in? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, are you saying like we don't know? Okay, well, I would have gotten that one wrong to too then. I, I mean, there, guys, this is a lot of this stuff is like memory like, stuff. I, I don't know this really stuff. Here. I don't think I ever learned this one. On. I think that my logical guess would have been oh, the closer the one's hotter. Right. That's what of all I had. So answer, yeah, I got that one wrong too. That's wrong. bad. Yeah, this is bad. I uh, would Randy be an absolute said, fool on this show, but I mean, start seeing a lot of people get what are you gonna the do? The average person gets eliminated in fifth grade. Um, so you're past past the average. Let's see. Oh, right. And three fourths cups. <gasps> Sally needs to triple her muffin recipe to make enough. Single recipe calls for two and three fourths cups. How much flour will she need? Three fourths. Okay, so an easy way to do this, guys, is just take the two and triple that. So that's six, and then you triple the three fourths, which would be what? What would that be? Nine fourths. So it'd be six, and then eight and a fourth. I think. Would it be? Or how much flour does she? Wait, eat? it's five. <sighs> I thought it was eight and a fourth. It's five? <laughs> well, I'll be honest, days. guys. I thought I was like a math major, but I thought it was eight and a fourth. Uh, it is eight and a fourth? Oh, people in chat were saying it's five. Okay, I, I don't know anymore, but I assumed you guys know the answer because you've seen it already. Very good. Um, oh, it is eight and a fourth. See? Let's, let's Easiest see way to do is just do the two us. and then do the that three sucks. fourths, and you only have to do the top. Um, is it backwards? Oh, wait, you can see it fine. All right. So I put... This is my me double checking my work, right? And then there's three fourths times three is nine over four, and then two oh wait, times yeah, three, he did it the same way down, I did sorry, it pretty much. Six, so it's nine, pretty good. Yeah. This Only is why we were both hackers in GTA. Yeah, that's. Yep. This is a tragic tale, and okay. ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. I mean, I'll be Maybe honest, guys. Right what? Here, right now. <laughs> um. Uh. Right. Right. Which Italian city was buried when Vest V? Yeah, I definitely <sighs> would know that. Herculean. Yep. Pompey. How does everyone know this? You guys have already seen it, or? Said the letter G. There's it no way I would have known that. Away. Uh, but it oh, matter. graphite, You're right? Where get oh, wait, eliminated. I think it showed the answer. I don't know. Yeah. Guys, I would have lost by now already. Why is chat laughing? Circle has radius of 12. What's the diameter? What is radius again? I don't even remember. Okay, when I said is radius the half? It, you just double it? Is radius half? Diameter. Or is that... No, circumference... No. So radius is half, I think, what is right? What's funny about it? You just double know. it? Or... It's pronounced oh, diameter. It's, but, it's, it's guys, here's the problem. I wouldn't have made it this far. I would have lost already. Like, I, I legit... I would have lost already. There were already questions I did. There were more than three questions I didn't know the answer to already. We would have been done, though. So. This is over. It is 100% already over, guys. You know, we tried. They for sure, everyone there would have already beat us. I would not be good at that. That's for sure. Um, all right. You know what we can do? Let's just, um, what's it called? Let's just watch some of Toast's clips. You know? We'll, we'll see what, uh, what the big, big clips are for him in the past, like, a few days. Just, just to see what it's like, you know? Because, um... I mean, we did miss the last day of the event. We were there for the first two days, and then we missed the end, right? So, you know, we'll, we'll just see how he did on the, the last day that we, we did end up missing. So, um, unfortunate. I think we already saw that one. It, it was like a glitch. Um, toast meets a goblin. Don't know what that means. XQC winning speech. Toast gives his thoughts on... Uh, we already saw that. Spanish... Re what? Do we want to watch this, guys? I don't know if we want to watch that, but I guess we're already here, so. Toast here to spread. No Why is every clip about racism? Did I miss something, guys? Did I miss something here? Half of these clips are like r weird. Uh, I feel like I missed something. It's just a funny clip. Okay, people are saying it's just a funny clip. doesn't have anything to do with... Uh, okay. What's this? Okay. Oh. Do not step into bushes. Thank you, mysterious admin. Okay. Well, no. Well, that wasn't. Uh, what even happened? You got a free gun or something? Or? Oh, it's Alistair. I know that guy. We, he was at the the Rust server back when then. 
It's in my hand. What am I gonna do with two? <laughs> what is happening here? Is this, isn't that the same clip? Two MP5s. Um, the worst part. I I have no idea what's happening, guys. Well, that was the same clip. I'm reacting to Toast reacting to the clip I just reacted to. Look at the top left. The event was over. Well, that is pretty one-sided, yeah. 5K. This was after the Spanish team announced they that, were quitting. That is pretty one-sided. Wow, that's crazy. Last time I was playing, guys, we were losing by a little bit, weren't we? We were down by a little bit when I was playing. I guess they really uh, pulled it off by the end. What's this? Oh my god, wait, yo. your face is big, dude. Hey, hello? Just... Yo, 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 what's up, man? Hey, Welcome. Man. Yo, they're, they're, they were rolling us. Hey, thank you, man. I'm about to go with Buddha. All right, do you what, need gear? You're kidding, right? Do you need gear? What is this? Uh, uh, they're gonna give me up. I'm I think I'm about, to, I'm about to kill myself and go back to them. All right, sounds good. Good luck out there, man. <laughs> okay, I... Uh... Like talking, having a meeting, streaming it, or What's telling this? people to quit. XQC winning speech. All right. Good for hey, them. Then we they won. know that they lost. Because they're getting they're wrecked, they're or they again. think we're being unfair again. Well, w guys. Guys. <laughs> it's unfair that uh, we're so good. I mean, just, exactly they said they no idea what happened there. What's this? Is He's it? Google translating. <laughs> oh God, guys, this, this is uh, whew, whew, I don't know what happens, but. So that maybe one day. Okay, okay. Toasted guys, do we want to do my own unban request? I don't know how to set it up right. Is the thing. Like, how do you even set up unban requests? Um. I think I do have a few of them, but like, I don't know how you you uh. Where is it? I, I if I can find it, I'll try it. But like, I don't know where you how you get to them Does anyone know how to get to them i thought you did it i did it before a long time ago but i don't know how to get there um you have 315 yeah but i don't know how to get there is the problem like how, how do you get to that screen you've banned people guys what streamer has not banned people you guys see twitch chat all the time it's kind of wacko a lot of the time is it under moderation um i mean i don't see it Partner. Um, guys, how do you, where do you find it? Is, I, I can't really find it is the problem. So it's kind of, oh, review unban request. And then how do you like pull it up though is the thing. Um, Okay. Uh, the three dots. Yeah, but I, I only can see like the one little uh, thing of it, guys. Oh, can, you can pop it out. Did it pop out? Uh, okay, I don't think that quite popped out correctly. Let me... Now, this is, this is harder than I thought. Um, how come pop out's not working? Discord, what, what does that mean? Um, let's see. I can see it, but I only can see it in the small bottom left of my screen. And when I click pop out, it doesn't pop out. Huh. Um, and I could just show the bottom left, do that. Um, let's see. Oh, move to grid, maybe. No, that didn't work either. Is my is my thing bugged? Because none of it's working. Um, leaked? What's leaked? I'm not even showing anything. I'm still trying to figure out how to... I can't even show... I can't even pull it up yet. All right. Um... Is he that bored to do? Okay, I, mean, I don't have to do the unban request. I just thought Toast did it and other people wanted to do it. So I, we don't have to do it though. I just, um, 
I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out for the most part. Um, okay, we, we could just open bottom left. and l Let me see what happens if we... Okay. How do people normally do it? Because the, the pop-out thing is not working. And neither is moving to grid. So... Huh. Um... Let's see. Oh, uh, Cindy, thanks for the sub. Okay. How'd you do it that one time? I can just show the bottom left, but it's like kind of scuffed looking if we do it that way. So it's like kind of weird, but for some reason the pop out's not working. Um, all right, give me one sec. Okay. Well, let me try and reopen it and see if that works. And if it doesn't, then uh, whatever. All right. Um, okay. Let me give it a go really quick. Okay. So I can pull it up, but only in the bottom left. Maybe we just do that. I mean, it's going to be like ultra scuffed, but I mean, I, I guess we can try it. Okay, let me studio mode. And then, guys, I'm pretty sure I'm going to leak something doing this. Um, okay, like here. And then, is this really what we're going to do, guys? Oh. Oh, it looks like the mods are already denying them, guys. I don't know. Um, all right. Is it, is, is it, can you get in trouble for like looking at banned chatters chats? I don't know. Um, oh, wait. Okay. I, I see what's happening. I think, um, maybe we, we can't do it guys. Maybe we can't do it. Um, Miz, thanks for the sub. He's too cautious. Uh, okay. So this is what I was told last time, guys. Um, apparently if you go through unban requests and they see the mod that banned them, apparently uh, people get upset. And I don't have like an attachment or something to hide who banned who. So I guess maybe we don't do it. I mean, I don't know. Um, let's see. X just does it all the time. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure, but don't know exactly what the play is there. Um, I think you need like some kind of attachments or something, right? In order to to hide that. Yeah, there's like an extension that I don't have, so we might not be able to to do it. So I'm not a hundred percent sure um, if we're going to do it because of that. So we might just go to something. Um, let's see. We were able to see them on toast. Yeah, I mean, I, I know a lot of people probably don't care, but, you know, you never really, never really know. So, not 100% sure, but, um, done with four tonight. I mean, we could maybe play it. Could maybe play it. Um, let's see. We could try a little bit. We could try a little bit, guys. I do have, I did buy the battle pass. Right, let's just play like a little bit, and um, I don't know if we're going to do anything crazy, but mostly just wanted to talk about Coach Len stuff. So, okay. Uh, Mizzy, thanks for the sub. No unbans? Uh, probably not because of uh, various, various reasons, but as Foolish playing Fortnite right now, I'd play with him. Hold on. You playing Fortnite right now? I finally got him to add me on Discord so we could uh, occasionally play games, but... Alright. X is too? He's playing Fortnite? I mean, he might be. I'm not sure, but... I mean, I would play some games for sure. Definitely will play a few games here and there. I don't want to go super long today, though, because my throat does still hurt from the dust. Oh, he's up for it. Alright, well, let's go. Um, Give me one second, guys. We're going to play a little bit of Fortnite. With Foolish. Hopefully it'll be fun. Uh, Fort. 
Forte. Okay. I don't think we've ever played one-on-one -on -one before, but let me set it up real, real quick, guys, because I have not played games in a smidgen of time. XD, thanks for the sub. But I do like playing with Foolish. He is such a funny and chill dude. Um, all right. Um, like one day? I only went to Coach Love for one day, so that was, that was a whole long thing. But All right. Um, I'll try to get the unban request set up at some point, but we'll see when we get to it or not. But, um, okay. Not that. You saw Doja? No, I didn't. I didn't go yesterday. That was yesterday, and I was not there for it. So, kind of unfortunate, but it does happen. Oh, look, my new skin. Right, let's check the, uh, the sh well, it's not like new, new, but I got it kind of new. Wait, they have a Coach Club bundle. Guys, this was me. I'm just kidding. This was not me. Yeah, guys, they forgot the dust. I'm just kidding. Um, Neon Biter. Interesting. Um, okay. It's the twins. I mean, not exactly, but actually I kind of can see it. This blue thing doesn't look bad. That's definitely not me, though. Missing the dust. Um, okay. What else is there? Easter Bunny stuff. Egg drop scoop. This looks cool. It's not really my type of thing. I bet you uh, Corpse might like it, though. I feel like. Oh, this looks kind of cool, too. Well, I mean, I think it looks cool. Some people might think it's weird, but I think it looks funny. Um. Hmm. Oh, Ray likes this skin a lot. It's like Omen from Overwatch. Um. Chess Master. I don't know, guys, but the, the skins are getting pretty expensive. I'm just gonna say. All right, let me uh, go to the bathroom really quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna join the Discord call um, and see if he notices I'm here. Because he did say you want to play some Fortnite, so... Right, Wait, what right did back. you just hand him? Oh. They're not even on the same team. Don't know what's happening, but I'll be right oh. back, guys. What a curve! 